Oh, Anthony. Taxes. Yeah. Shit. I'm always going off my mouth. You know what? We got a very busy show today, but uh, this is the moment right here, I'm telling you. Louis C.K. in studio. It's been, I don't even know how long. We were at the time. other building. That's right. The last time I was at the other building. So it's got to wow, be at least four shit. months. Louis mm-hmm. C.K. is playing Caroline's. Uh, you're starting tonight, Lou? Yeah, it's all sold out until Sunday, I think. Oh, it though. is? Oh, shit. Yeah, Sunday right. night, there's still yeah. tickets. Then go home. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not here to plug. I don't care That about proves playing. that Louis likes our show because he yeah. doesn't even have to I got be nothing here. to plug. Only Sunday Caroline's shows, though. Great yeah, but that's going to sell out, too. I mean, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter at all. <laughs> they should just keep adding shows. Well, then I got to do them. You know what? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it'd be one thing if it was just problem. like just come and pay money. The tickets are what they're after. It's right. not the show. You know what? I'm thinking <laughs> you could squeeze a third show in, though. Sure, I've I seen could. that before at Caroline's. It's not fun for you guys, but no, I won't do it. You got a midnight show where everyone's been drinking for four straight hours, and you're yeah, exactly. Uh, you're trying to do your. Thing. I don't think I have an upside to tickets this time. I think I'm getting a flat amount of money. Oh, so, that, oh, so, so I actually don't even say that okay. I'm playing it. All right, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. You've been in the country? Yeah, up, upstate. And and uh, and he was telling Ant and I that he listens all the time because he's bored in the country. Always. Ooh, and he heard you yelling Every and screaming morning. the other day. Yeah, I'm always screaming about taxes. And There's, stuff like uh, but there's still the thing Don't that's care. been haunting me. I Just every day I think about it now, and it makes me really <laughs> sick. When you had uh, Bobo in here, was that his name? Oh, God. And damn. you had, uh, uh, what's his name, Smell His Cock? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, uh, we're, E-Rock. On, E-Rock. we're E-Rock okay. E-Rock had to smell yeah, his yeah. dick. E-Rock. Yeah. Iraq had to smell his dick, but the thing that upset me was you saying, telling him to t- to sh- ruffle up his pubic hair to oh, release yeah, yeah. to release the smell. It's like a scratch and sniff. You got to kind of like if you tussle, you're telling him to tussle, tussle the pubes. Tussle your pubes so the smell is released. And every time I, I think about that and I gag, like every, a few <laughs> times is- a day, for some reason it's like a song stuck in my head. That is disgusting. There's like a moment I was dropping off my kids and I'm walking away from their the little camp, this little idyllic camp they have. Yeah. Where there's literally a donkey in the middle of the camp. Aww. And uh, and I remember it just pops in my head. Tussle your pubic hair so the cock smell gets worse. <laughs> and I imagine that really clearly. And I got fucking. I just got so sick. That is really disgusting. <laughs> he, and E-Rock, just the idea that. So first of all, you're making a guy smell some retarded guy's cock. But the idea that you had this. Idea. Notion of wait a minute, wait a minute. This we can is make a, this work. It's not yeah, bad this is enough. A, like you're like it's like a technician for yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> to get the full potency of the cock smell of the dirty to, dick smell, you gotta just uh, you gotta yeah, yeah. ruffle you, the hair. Did you hear the follow up show? The fo- the following Friday he came oh, back. So I, I I heard something. Uh, Lou. I'm trying these to remember guys, what happened. After the show, these guys discovered, because they're just bored and sick fucks, that Bobo gets boners really easily. All oh, right, you had his dick out, and he was standing here getting hard. Yeah. Hard and soft, and you though, guys were, on what we're You guys were going about. from baseball. Yes, I was listening to that. Okay. You're going from baseball yeah. to, to, uh, to that girl that he's in love with. You know what's weird is that there forth. was a guy in my hometown. He might still be there, and we called him Florida Steve. <laughs> Why'd you call him? That was his. He, he was a guy, a little kind of oldish man that walked around town, just walked around, and kids would go up to him and he'd go, How you doing? He'd just walk up to you, Hey, hot day, huh? It's hot. It was a routine. It was like was, an Abbott Costello. retarded in any way? Yeah, or? I think he was sort of retarded. Yeah. And, hot day, right? Hot day. And you go, Yeah, it's hot. And he goes, oh, Hotter in Florida, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hot in Florida. He, he would guide you to what he was. What's it like? What's it like down in Florida? Ah, uh, it's nice. The girls down there. What are the girls like down there? Oh shit! Well, they got they got nice girls in Florida. They got big tits. You go, yeah, they got big tits, Steve. And then he'd put his hand in his pocket and he'd just start jacking off right in front of you. Big bottoms, big. And it was just a routine. It was like Abbott and Costello. Holy shit. And then at one point you'd go, hey, what are you what are you doing down there in your pants? And you'd go, get out of here! I'll, I'll cut you to ribbons. I'll, you won't say that when the bullets fly. And he'd start. <laughs> He'd start threatening you and then walk away. <laughs> I, I think every town's got one. Of, I think uh, I'm this guy think called Crazy Crazy John, yeah. and he, he used to be behind um, uh, John's Bargain Store. Mm-hmm. I don't know if his name was John, but right. we just called him Crazy John because he was behind, he was John's, behind bar- John's Bargain <laughs> Store, and, and he had a shopping cart. With a big it's like uh, naming a stray dog. Yeah, yeah. It's just uh, we'll name him after the bargain store. Jesus. I know, and. He would uh, collect plastic bags, mm-hmm. and he'd come up to you and just go, plastic bag? 
Plastic bag? <laughs> plastic bag? And you're like, I haven't seen any plastic bags, John. Okay. And then you go off to the dumpster. And he had one of those giant, you know those big sunflower, plastic sunflowers people put in their lawns that spin yeah, around in the wind? Sure. He had that on his uh, shopping cart. Mm-hmm. And he'd push it around looking for plastic, plastic bags. bags. Crazy, crazy remember, John. Remember Eddie, Eddie at uh, WNEW? Oh, yeah, yeah, another. Eddie, kind of Eddie worked at NEW when we were over there, and his whole job was to empty the garbage mm-hmm. from offices. Yeah. Mm. And he loved tits. Yeah. Where he would uncomfortably stare at tits. Oh, God. Yeah, he had no switch where it's like, you know, you shouldn't do that. You know, you take a glimpse. Because you'd be going, I like that girl. She was pretty cute. I was, yeah. was like, I like that. And meanwhile, he's just looking at her tits. <laughs> And the fucking girls I, all creeped out. I brought him to the – somehow they, the guys talked me into take him out for lunch. So I took him to the Brooklyn Diner and the waitress had a nice day. Oh, no. It was so awkward. Jesus. We could barely eat lunch because Eddie just had a stare at tits Jesus. the entire time. Uh, Horniness bro- plus retardation is a bad, oh, yeah, bad combination. Bad. Uh, There's what? no switch. They no. just like – yeah. What do you got in it? Brooke Hogan? I was wondering if Brooke Hogan um, – what she sounds like acoustically. Or is she lip syncing? No, she's probably, what can we do? What can, can you pot it up? Pot it up? Very, this very one, interesting. interesting. Her, this name of the song is Hey Yo. That's I'm okay. But I had to let you know. Just in case it didn't show. Oh, some say love and friends, they don't mix, but I have the way that I feel. Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Who is that <laughs> faggot? Who is that Jerry curled faggot who's playing with her? He's got shiny jeans. What a fruit. No, I'm not. Oh, God, what is with him? No, you're not. Oh, my God, this is horrible. Yeah, I will if I hear this anymore. Yeah, this is really bad. I promise to show you. I love the Ken Wynn. He could Ew! go over. Uh, <laughs> oh. How does he go over anyone's house and, and sit in their, on their couch? Yeah, I, like, exactly. How's he a person? <laughs> fucking wet all over there. All right. I'm sorry I even brought it up. That's one of the worst things I've ever heard in my life. That's really, bad, huh? really bad. That's <laughs> horrible. Oh, boy. I'd rather listen to my mom beg for mercy while somebody <laughs> kills her. <laughs> that was horrible. Uh, and people are also reminding us that Eddie also was in charge of the mail and, and getting it all wrong. Oh, no, he used to get it all wrong, yeah. yeah hey, this, wait, this, that guy's part. wearing like a glovey what? thing. What, a Michael Jackson glove? Oh. No, it's worse. Look on his left hand, on his guitar hand. Oh, it's, yeah, like it's like a, a hand a- brace, but it's sparkly. It's like when you get a sprained wrist, yeah, yeah. but it's sparkly. No, oh, that wasn't good. Stop. You can't stop the song for your shit note that didn't work. It's your crappy. He's just making it up now. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. Look at his hand. Look at his I hand. Yeah. So He's got Thank sparkly you. wrist so the brace on. Oh. Right now in the stores. Oh, you yeah. ugly what whore. Fuck you. <laughs> you yeah, fucking so retard. <laughs> well, he's very talented. He's really, really talented. No, he's not. Neither are you, you um, fucking stupid here. cunt. Together, and we love God music. damn it. <laughs> when do you hit the road, Cole? You fucking boring, tour? fucking stupid, together, ugly, uh, common. And I'm fucking two bit stripper. Stuff, right? yeah, we're just, I'm just she comes over you know, and says, Do you so want a private dance? And I go, No. <laughs> I go, No, I'm waiting for somebody <laughs> interesting looking. Dime a dozen blonde. <laughs> Fucking Holy shit. father famous for being a buffoon <laughs> idiot. <laughs> fucking. She, she even knows the guy isn't talented because she had to go, yeah, he's really talented. Yeah, he's really yeah exactly. Talented. Oh, really? That's what I just heard was good? Oh, thanks. Yeah. You know the shit you just heard? <laughs> That's like everybody that has a boyfriend where they're like, oh, yeah, no, he's really great. Really? Yeah, he's great. That, it's funny because I just heard him. Oh, thanks for telling me because it sounded like shit. <laughs> it, wasn't, it sounded like it wasn't good. <laughs> Oh, you! No, he's you're really fucking great, oh. funny. Mm. Mm. I love when no. I listened tell you to her uh, on this show. She yeah. was on, I, and I was like, "Shut!" She, I fucking, she ruined my morning. <laughs> I hate her. Why? Yeah, because my morning, why? I drop my kids off in this fucking crazy camp, 
And then I listen to you guys on my way back. I got n- I got nothing else to do. I look at the same shit strip of fucking country road every morning, and I listen to you guys. And it was her. And there's and- yeah, trying to be funny and fucking. We had our arm wrestle though. I didn't get that far. I, it's the first <laughs> time I've switched. I switched the sometimes. fucking station. That's not good I to hear. You gotta. Well, she take, keep that in mind. Too. She makes people like me turn your show off. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to know for next time. We go, hey, Brooke, would you arm wrestle Robert yeah. Kelly? And she goes, yeah. Isn't yeah. That, isn't that kind of insulting to ask a girl to arm wrestle a guy? Why? What do you mean? Like... But she's a bruiser. Oh, because she's got big, fat arms. I see what That's you mean. Why else would I say would you arm wrestle Robert yeah. Kelly? Because he's a you're weak not, slob with oh. little, he's got little, uh, you know, Tyrannosaurus Rex arms. <laughs> what is she doing there in that she's, picture? She's <clears throat> giving a piggyback Looks like ride. she's taking a shit. I don't know. I hate that people like her exist. I mean, it's the worst. It's just so many generations down from mattering. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Hulk Hogan even shouldn't matter. He's yeah. a joke. He's a fringe celebrity. And then Hulk. But now he's a family. fucking mainstream right down. Like he's going to get like the he's going to be at the Kennedy honors with the president someday. Yeah. Because yeah. he just for being fucking stupid spectacle in front of other people <laughs> and his fucking daughter, his his grown up cum gets to be on TV and, and play a song with her faggot boyfriend with sparkly jeans. And everybody's got to act like it's good. That's sparkly wrist brace. <laughs> and she comes to this building, and you guys have her, everybody has to have her on and act like, and so then what happened with your dad? Who gives a sh- shit? He's, he's making us look bad. <laughs> Louis, Fuck her. Louis no, Louis you have to do it. How do you not do it? If I had this, no. look, if I had this show, I would, I'd go, can uh, we get her, what? please? Louis and I'd be nice uh, to her. A dose of reality. You're giving a, yeah, a little taste. <laughs> There's no, no problem there. That's why we do like you. <laughs> Louis <laughs> is a dose of reality, man. Yep. He's right. He's right. Fuck what we think. You guys, we get three hours with Bobo is worth a lot more. It's well, true. Yeah. And don't yeah. go to the message board. Then they <laughs> don't like Bobo either. <laughs> they well, don't. Well, I'm, look, I'm in a minority. Though. I I love Bobo, but you yeah, go to the message the boards. Bobo camp. They can't take They're him. like enough with Bobo. They're listening. But they listen. They listen. Yeah, I'm, I assume. Did anybody write and say she's awesome? Keep her on and no, one, have her on again. One person. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Did. All those, all that response for Bobo, one response for her. Yeah. yeah. yeah all of his least, response was negative and hers was positive. Bobo but, makes people but, react. Yeah, you want That's yeah. what you, you want, want from a radio show. Exactly. Of course. Good, bad, whatever. Just you yep. want people talking and reacting. Yeah, we didn't get much reaction after the uh, Brooke Hogan interview no. yesterday. No. Louis C.K. It's sl- now we sleep. feel really bad about ourselves as broadcasters. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's America sleeping. <laughs> Let's get the horse fuck story on. Yes. Oh, this guy fucked a horse? What happened? Well, yeah. he uh, he has a history of doing this. <laughs> he got caught. It's called buggery, you know. Is it? Is that what buggery is? Yeah. I didn't like know horse that. Like horse and buggy? No, because buggery. Because you're being a buggy sort of for the English horse. English law. Yeah, you're kind of being a buggy by proxy. So it's like buggery. I wonder if that is what it hook is it up. from. No, because I don't, I don't know because it, it means um, uh, anal intercourse with a man or a woman. If you're a guy and you have anal intercourse with a man or a woman, you are uh, engaging in buggery. But also vaginal intercourse with a horse is buggery. But anal with a horse is not considered buggery. It's considered <laughs> something else. You know, some sick sodomy fucking thing that will still get you put on the rack in England, I'm sure. But, <laughs> but it, who would decide like, that one? Yeah, they decided that buggery is uh, sex up the ass on, on a human uh, or um, uh, vaginal sex with a horse. But wait a minute, sex up the ass with a human or vaginal sex with a horse? Yeah. Is the same thing, it's buggery. Same thing. Can you believe that shit? <laughs> but you could fuck a horse in the ass and it's not buggery. And it's not buggery. <laughs> but is it something worse? I'm a person's sure. asshole and a horse's vagina. vagina. Same thing. Yeah. They considered it the same kind of fucking... Well, but wait, maybe is there a step up for horse's asshole? Maybe it's just another thing. I think that's thing. what it is. I think it's even worse. It's like murder one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Although the, 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 um, the... Penalty for buggery. Yeah. Up until 1861. Getting fucked up the ass by a horse. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. The horse yeah. gets to have his little piece with the other. <laughs> was death by hanging. Really? And then after that, it was life in prison. 
And now did you have to sit on the horse that you fucked in the ass when? Yeah. When you get hung? Fuck you and the horse you fucked. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you and the horse you fucked and fuck both. And fuck both of you. Yeah, anal intercourse by a man with a man or woman, mm-hmm. or vaginal intercourse by either a man or a woman with an animal. Now, how does a woman? Where are you reading this off of, by the way? Uh, the definition of buggery. From what though? Uh, from uh, Wikipedia. Yeah, you just go Wikipedia. On buggery. Anal intercourse. <clears throat> I love also the stuff that's highlighted to give you other references. Yes, yes, I might need <laughs> that intercourse note. The, 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 yeah. Anal inc- intercourse highlighted, if you're interested. More to, more to say about that. <laughs> yes, it's a By a man with a man or a woman. Yeah, you can't Or fuck that vaginal ass. intercourse by either a man or a woman with an animal. With an animal. So How does a woman animal. fuck a horse up the asshole? That's what I want to know. Well, a vagina. Vagina. Oh, vaginal intercourse. Yeah. How do, okay, so then, yeah, how does a woman... I guess with her fist? You can't fist a horse in a No, vagina? I think that means letting a horse... Oh! Fuck you. Oh. Look at you. Hey, look I've at been, me. I've been thinking of that, like, since I read it yesterday, going... How does a woman do? But it's, it's the horse fucking the woman. Or a, if I says, now, by the way, it says animal. So yeah, a dog, anything. women can be fucked by dogs. I see. Now it. what about what's what about the woman getting fucked in the ass by an animal? Because that wasn't covered there. That's going to be a that's different. That's got to be worse. Yeah, it's got to be worse. They don't step it down and go. Think, at least it's I not think buggery. That's called tomfoolery. Tom, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> buggery is like one of those words where it should be yeah. tomfoolery. I think it's a. Uh, I think a, a woman being fucked in the ass by a horse is yes. shenanigans. I think it's yes. shenanigans. Only done by a scallywag. <laughs> exactly. Wow, they just said shenanigans. shenanigans. Visiting this website may harm your That's all these words that okay. used to be horrible, and now yeah, they yeah. don't matter anymore. Now it's just yeah. funny. Yeah, it turns out, yeah, if you really look up the oh, ap- yeah. epitomology or whatever it's called. Shenanigans. Turns out well, a, a horse coming in a woman's mouth is called silliness. <laughs> it's just that it's been softened over the years. <laughs> Yeah, being engaged in shenanigans years ago was probably a pretty bad thing. Yeah. Now it's just, it's funny to say. The yeah. word itself is just shenanigans. You can't be serious when you say it. Well, you want the update on the horse fucker? Buggery. I certainly you gotta do. got to hear this one. Barbara Kenley says her horse of 15 years, Sugar, is like a child to her. Oh, boy. Mm. But a year and a half ago, she discovered this man, Rodell Vereen, inside Sugar's stable. Oh, oh stable. Inside so the to stable. Stable. speak. Wow. Okay. Well, so wow. Yeah. Stable. All right. <laughs> inside Sugar's stable, he pleaded guilty to having sex with the horse. I mean, I don't know how to explain to you the sick feeling. Vereen was placed on South Carolina's mm. sex offender list Go and, and got three years probation. But Kenley says that was little comfort to her. Every night going to bed thinking, is that man out there with my animals? What is he doing to my horse? <laughs> fucking it. And uh, I, like I said, I just couldn't sleep thinking about it. She suspected well, Vereen was fucking back. masturbate and, and get it over with. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fucking was to be, rub one out and go to sleep. That's what I do when I think uh, I'm fucking the horse. Who cares if someone's fucking your horse? Jesus. I just couldn't sleep thinking about it. She suspected Vereen was back and secretly violating sugar again. When I come to feed the next morning, that I hadn't sat out here waiting for him and he, she'd been molested again. It was devastating. Kenley says she would sometimes spend the night inside the stables with a shotgun to keep an eye on <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> with her ass perched up waiting. <laughs> Why know? not me? There's a perfectly good fucking woman in the room. Yeah. <clears throat> He's fucking my horse. First of all, you don't name a horse Sugar and not expect it to be fucked. That's just a <laughs> sexy name for a horse. <laughs> Gotta give it a bad oh, name. God. Oh, this is one of our favorite pictures. Though. Horse you vagina. Check. This is horse vagina. Is it really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It does look like I it. I get it. You I know, get it. If you had to. But it looks like it's got balls above it, though. Yeah, that's, it looks that's the down. asshole yeah, above something. it. Yeah. And then there's sort of a what looks like the alien that wrapped around that guy's neck <laughs> tail. Wow. Yeah. It doesn't look very hairy. It's really like a... looks like a Geiger painting. <laughs> They're all pink on the inside. Yeah, it looks like a galaxy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you can see how it would probably feel good on your cock if it wasn't, you know, attached to a It doesn't horse. look very wet. Well, you gotta, you just you gotta whisper shit it's here. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking hot. Oh, you fucking... Yeah, you... Oh, with a shotgun to keep shotgun. an eye on sugar. She says she thought about shooting Vereen, but didn't want to go to prison. That's when she installed this. And moving my camera in various spots 
And then I finally got a good picture. She should have been arrested Police for filming bestiality. <laughs> exactly. Wouldn't that be great if they arrested her? You can't yeah. film this shit. No. It's like fucking, yeah, I'm going to catch a child pornographer for, uh, I'm going to film him having sex with a child. No, that's illegal. Oh, dumb. <laughs> Dumb woman. Yeah, this woman is just, she deserves to have a horse. All that as work. Fuck. Yeah, what does she do? For, how does this woman have a horse and a stable and yeah, well, a shotgun and a camera? <laughs> All these fucking props. She's got a bunch of shit going on. Yeah. And then I finally got a good picture of it. Police mm. arrested Vereen on Monday after he was caught on tape earlier this month molesting the horse. <laughs> he didn't resist or fight back or deny. Ooh, the horse? Well, yeah, well, the horse loved it. Yeah. The horse does it. Have you ever seen another horse fuck a horse? Yeah. It's probably one of the most violent. violent things I've yeah, ever seen. We had this horse uh, named Concho Pete. Concho Pete was one of the few horses at our stable that wasn't a gelding. Who's, and they used to breed it. About? This one I lived out in California. You I was horses. Oh, horses. Oh, yeah. horses. Fucking, I was Guns, Mr. Cowboy, equestrian guy. Dream buggies, oh, dream I had weaver. horses. Yeah, I was the, out there. I was the shit. I have pictures of me with boots, the hat, the whole fucking wow. deal. I was a hick fucking cowboy. <laughs> but I was, you know, 14 years old, so I was a kid. Wow. Grew up that way, yeah. It was, uh, it was you fun, live, grew up in Massachusetts and you're... No, nah, I grew up in New York originally, and then my father moved out to California, so I went to live oh. with him. And then, uh, you know, uh, he, he, was, he wanted to be a cowboy. <laughs> so Danny's going to find some horse fucking videos. Concho P would bite the back of the neck of all the mares and just stick oh, really? this giant... <laughs> Giant cop. Wow. I don't care. I know the guy ha I, was of a certain ethnicity, this criminal that was molesting the horses, but no way it's as big as a horse. Look at wow. this horse ball. And they just how shove the fuck it does in. He guide that in. How does he guide that into anything? I think the, the people have to guide it in. Like, look, they can't just let them fuck. They're tying this horse up in a certain. I guess that's so it doesn't completely kill the, the mare. But how do they get it done in nature they wrap before the tail we got up. involved? They wrap the tail like a boxer. Yeah, they gotta wrap the tail up. Why do That's you have to the wrap female. The, why do you have to, yeah, but why do you have to wrap to, the tail if the two horses the were, were oh in the... Oh my god, look at this. Look at this fucking... Oh, oh man! Jesus. Holy shit! Oh, god. Then Looking he's coming already. Spurt. He's fucking coming already. Uh, horses... Uh, horses can't... <laughs> yeah. Look at his neck. And he's biting the horse's neck. And the horse is just standing there like... Horses have no staying power. All horses prematurely ejaculate. Faggot There's horse. no pleasure for the female, huh? Look at that. The no. female doesn't know what the fuck. What about. a rod he's got, the though. female's like, It's bending. He's trying it. to find out how to get in. Good technique on the horse's part, yeah. huh? But that's Boom. two pumps and he's done. Oh. Boom. Two oh. pump he's jump. The, he's the two pump kid. Oh, it's all fucking yellow. <laughs> God oh. damn. He is fucking like... in there, too. He's a good two That's feet like inside a, that vagina. His cum looks like the wood glue that he's going to be in a couple of years. <laughs> From glue to glue. All right, he's done. Get him off the ashes fucking thing. Ashes to ashes, glue to glue. Now he's just, that was good. Burr. See, you think that guy, you think the horse felt that <laughs> fucking guy is all limp now? Do you think the horse felt the And then they talk to a dude. Then they talk to some dude. Never. Well, and then he fucks her and comes all over her eh. fucking cunt. What a creep. That and then a little is. horse comes out later, and I fuck it. Now we got a montage. Like, here's two horses. horses just in a park somewhere next to a <laughs> Little League game. <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah. It's weird how their necks arch kind of yeah, impossibly. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, neck kind of... And the horse stands up like a human when it comes time to do some fucking... That's some horse yep. fucking going on. That's because right. they watched us. Three. Yeah. One more. Like, one more. I want to see one trying one to lay more. the horse on its back <laughs> and do it human <laughs> style. I wonder if horses do donkey punches. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the last uh, bit of the story. Ah. He didn't resist or fight back or deny. Now, he did kept apologizing to me. He, he said, if I hurt you, ma'am, I'm sorry. Vereen is now behind bars. Ben Vereen? His brother says yeah. he has mental problems no. and may yeah, not really? have been taking his medicine. I'd like mm. to see him get some help, but I also want him kept behind bars when he's getting the help. Really? Here we go, oh. yeah. There it is. Well, oh late, my later. God. How are we just watching horse fuck videos? Look he did kept go. apologizing to me. God. Did he, you fucking past tense, not using correctly, stupid <laughs> retard with a fucking horse? Horses just don't look like they're made for fucking. The, the hooves, 
You don't have any. No, yeah, it's almost like hands they, to hold yeah, on. You can't That's grab onto the thing. Isn't that weird? It's yeah, like they it's... made them wrong. Like, wouldn't they just be? Wouldn't the fucking be the first thing you when you design an animal? Yeah, just to make like, sure that you can keep making them. You make them so that they can fuck. Yeah, so they can fuck. Why are they than that? awkward when they fuck? That should be an egg laying animal. Yeah, <laughs> That's like it should just be. An, <laughs> Horse I know it's egg. a mammal, but it should just be a, an egg laying animal. It's not built for fucking. Uh, what is it? What is this? Oh, they're doing that that weird mouth thing when they smell. Is that a, a Shetland pony or something? Still hung like a motherfucker. These horses. Jesus Christ. How did giraffes fuck? Find some giraffe fucking uh, videos. No That's got to be impossible. You're not going to find giraffes That's fucking. That's got to be. Danny finds anything. Giraffes if, fucking. If, Come if, on. if there's fucking to be had, Danny will find it. Come on. Here we go. Giraffe fucking. <laughs> Actually, they're, they're built a little so, wedge like. It's just, so it's. Takes seconds. How the fuck do they get this done? The now, now the giraffe they're is they're just standing behind him. The rocks behind them look like they're gonna fuck too. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> that it's a really is strange a, image. Where is this? Like Disney? That's them. That's how they fuck. Animal oh, here he goes. Oh, hey. oh, shit. Did he just shove it in and that was it? <laughs> Holy shit! It had to be one thrust today. One thrust that took a tenth of a second. Wow. He, he was. Damn. He just pushed everything forward. What's that about? Did you ever see that video? It's a lot of people have watched it of the, uh, the like the wild. What do you call those animals that got antlers? Fuck. Oh, elk or or say so some kind deer, of weird rams. bison or something by a river in Africa, and these cougars come and Cougar. attack them. Yeah. Did you ever see this video? And Ant then they antelope. end up fighting with a, yeah. with an alligator. That whole oh, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of the oh, greatest yeah. things I ever I saw. Just, the alligator comes out of like nowhere. Yeah, well, but then it's but then the elk water. the elk come back and then they fight back. It's crazy. It's yeah, one of the coolest and, things and, I've ever. And seen. there's really no way for them to win. I forget. No, but they do. The elk win. Yeah, it's one of the coolest alligator? things I ever saw. I'd take the alligator over the elk any day, <laughs> UFC style. <laughs> alligators are good grapplers. You got to get them on the ground. They're not good on their feet. Louis, she's still on TV. What, you know <laughs> why? Louis, she's Jesus. still on TV. What is she? Yeah. You're on pretty good terms with your dad. Who Great gives a shit? Right <laughs> Let's hear from the hall, can we? Sure. Here we got some sound. Sure. Here. The hall. You've been married to somebody for 23 years, and you're crazy and in love with them. You've had children with them. You know, it's a situation. Nobody gives a shit. You're, you're one fucking human now. being. We had so many. You're one. Things going oh, on, you who know, cares? And, um, situations <laughs> that happen that you know we just got torn apart. He's talking like he's the fucking president. Like this yeah, is how seriously we take this. Um, he has been doing this for a long time, so I think he's... What, wasting America's time? Jesus. And she's at the point now where she just has to talk about Yeah, and they're all being father. so father serious, and we're all supposed to focus on their fucking relationship. He was younger. Yeah. <laughs> um, but your but dad dated a younger woman. True, but when you're... 34 versus 19 years old, it's a big difference. You know, I think kind of just common sense has to kick in. Look at the two of them um, listening and I got over the age intently. Thing, but I think it's just that, you know, I my gut tells me he's not good for her. I think it's pretty obvious. So. And they're talking about it on Nash. This, really, this is a fucking you know, personal you know, relationship. This is a news show, by the way. This, yeah, the this news. is the news, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, right. What about this? Was there pressure? I mean, <clears throat> self-imposed pressure. you got cameras there. They want to take pictures of something. They want to show. They want drama. Was that somehow... Uh, did that influence you to you know, nice. create these Nice. Good moments, question. Perhaps, Good right? question. Yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. work. It's kind yeah. of embarrassing because we nice. asked all these questions you know I mean? yesterday. No, <laughs> yeah, of course we did. <laughs> Why wouldn't we? <laughs> but you keep claiming on about it. So, uh, oh, we, we yeah. deserve God, it. That's the hag she's going to look And this fucking like footage like, like it's newsreel footage. Hulk is in a tuxedo with a black bandana on his head. When you listen to the album, does it bring back painful memories? Wow, yeah, that was good. Good. When I listen to the song Dear Mom, it does bring back memories. Is it really? Listen to it. And I'm like, I can't really? believe you know the song, oh. dear mom. I can't believe I <laughs> you're making so money off the it's situation. Just, it's still shocking because yeah. I'm like, it's my mom. I love her. Oh my know? god. Let's um, yeah. So let me go on this show and talk about her. <laughs> How I bring back time? Oh. Really happy person. You can't really get me down. Tell us about really? really? What if I piss in your hair? Will I get you down? Fucking idiots. Jesus Christ. It'll be running. I think there's two or three more episodes left. So try to catch it. It's it's really awesome. We're still filming. Awesome. Louis CK because all the shows are sold out. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Caroline, maybe take us home. And if I could do a little shout out, go yes. to brooksworld.com. 
Uh, okay. Let's see. My website. Sorry. That's what great. Are you tweet about us today, I feel weird about my mom's relationship with it. Here's my and website. I'm going to steal one of your Tic Tacs. <laughs> okay, you got it. You can have some. Uh, vaginal, <laughs> vaginal problems? We can do oh, more than God. that. How about a mug? Okay, it's a pleasure. Lou, give her the works. Right, that was good when you said give her the works. Lou's our cameraman. When you rewind, we look at what the highlights were from yesterday's show on the This Wendy guy's Williams a show. douche. She has some friendly advice to a woman in her audience. Is that right? I love you for watching. Oh, this monster. Oh, I hate the monster. The fucking Wendy Williams monster. Well, this is you know, look at the size of this Sandra, fucking tranny. Every time she gets into an argument with her boyfriend, she expects me to call nice him look. and talk <gasps> no, to him. No, no, no. Yes, and I feel very uncomfortable with that because I don't want to get Wendy involved. Wendy Williams no. is a man. Do I, I don't even understand what this is. You tell her that you are a practicing adult, and practicing adults <laughs> stay out of grown people's business, okay. and she needs to grow up. Okay. Don't you do that anymore. I won't. You're correct. Thank She's you. wrong. Um. Tell it like it is, Wendy. She doesn't hold back. We are done. We're, very poor <laughs> We're done. I thought I saw the limit years ago. I, no, I know. Go, I so, she so. tells it like it is. I thought when <laughs> I thought when those shows came on, it was like this one won't last. But it's like 15 generations in to all of this and stuff. And still, they're just a, yeah. When you thought back to like you know, I was on this fucking radio show uh, that's probably in this building. Who cares? Um, You're beating Bubba, us up. The, what is this oh, guy? Oh, Bob the Love Sponge? Yeah, that's what it was. Ugh. He sucks. Okay, so here was, here's, what ha here's my he experience. He sucks. I do radio all the time yeah. on the phone because I'm, I'm on the road. Last three years, constantly on the road. So I have to do radio to support the dates. Yeah. And I never know. I get an email saying, here's your radio itinerary for the week. I never read it. It comes down to I'm walking down the street with my kids and my phone rings and I'm on the radio somewhere in America. I don't fucking know. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> no, why would it? No, you know, and, it, and it's funny to me when people like, uh, they go, hey, I'm, we're calling in from whatever, Baltimore. Oh, oh, okay, Baltimore. Oh, you didn't even know where we are? No, I fucking didn't. <laughs> what am I, why am I supposed to know You that? think I'm training like Rocky all year for one date in Baltimore? I'm doing Baltimore's one in fucking five dates that week. One out of the five cities, yeah. But anyway, week. Bub, I guess, so I get I get a call. Hey, uh, you go, we're coming in a minute. I don't even know what show. I go, oh, okay, I guess I'm on the radio. <laughs> so then I'm on hold for a while, and then this guy comes on, who I don't know who the fuck he is, and he goes, um, hey, uh, sorry, uh, we uh, made you wait for a while there, um, but we had the Hulkster on. And I go, okay. I don't even, I don't, I'm not really aware that Hulk is what he's doing or whatever. Yeah. So it's this guy, Bubba, the love sponge, and he goes, uh, yeah, uh, yeah you got to understand that we made you wait because of Hulk, right? I mean, you get why we would do that, wouldn't you? And I go, listen, I wasn't even really aware I was waiting. I, I, I just, yeah, just, the phone just I, I, yeah, I'm not listening. I was listening to hold music. I wasn't listening to you or, and he goes, uh, yeah, okay, but what's your take on what's going on with Hulk? And I go, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? The Hulkster is getting screwed by this gold digger. And I go, I really don't know anything about that. And I don't really pay attention to what's happening to celebrities. I don't care. And then he gets offended and he says, oh, oh, I get it. Oh, I get, I it. get it. You comedians get to just leap around a stage being a jackass. While I have to sit here and be responsible to my listeners. Are you shitting <laughs> no, I'm not me? Kidding. <laughs> what? what like, he takes ass? it as, like, a personal responsibility uh, to know what's going on he's a stupid in hillbilly. Hulk's personal life. A While you have the hillbilly. bells on your hat uh, and your toes. Right. And yeah, just, exactly. Right. I'm just being a douche yeah. on stage. Yeah. And this guy is, like, fucking holding up a standard. Yeah, we can list all the responsible things he's Stop. done with his radio show, yeah. by the way. Yeah. He's a hack. Hack hill. No, it, whole, it went downhill. It turned into him hanging up on me and going, you're no Joe Rogan. And then he hung up on me. Oh, really? Yeah. It was just ridiculous. Well, you're not. I'm not a Joe, Joe Rogan, Rogan at all. Kick your ass. We're very right. different human beings. <laughs> oh, here it is. In a lot of ways. You, you're no Joe Rogan because you suck. Yeah, and then I called back and we got into it. It was fucking stupid. What an asshole he but, is. But that, but that, the thing, yeah, I mean, the whole dispute I had with him that ended up hanging, I didn't even care about that. The thing that I remember is the idea that that's some kind of a serious responsibility yeah. to be up on all this reality show shit. Yeah. He's like, he's like being, Ed, like he deserves the Edward R. Murrow Award. <laughs> Award for, for really being up prepared for the Hulk interview. 
Hey, I got <laughs> fucking what a asshole. Douche. I got what was said. So, what, what? Uh, so you call back, Bubba. Yeah, I... Hello, and Louis says, "Listen, man, if you have to be such a little baby that you just have to have your phone." Has to always work and no one can say anything to you. And you make your little cracks as you hang up on me like you can't say it and keep me on and see what I have to say about it. I was trying to know. You were being cowardly and, and babyish, childish, and very, very silly. That's what I would say. Now, if I were acting childish, babyish, and silly, I wouldn't have allowed you to call me that because I knew this was going to happen. You allowed me back on because I called in. You didn't plan this. <laughs> oh, I don't have to put you back on. In my initial plan, I changed it midstream, bitch, and I, I decided to put you back on. And Louie, oh, okay, I'll give you credit for that. <laughs> Uh, okay, thank you. you. You have a great day and good luck in your shows. And then Louis <laughs> fucking says, okay, you're no Howard Stern. <laughs> <laughs> and then this fucking hillbilly goes, no, but I work for him, and you're no Joe Rogan, and you don't work for him, bitch. Why would you work for Joe Rogan? And then he goes, work for and, Joe then he goes Rogan, and your show way. got canceled after a year, and I'm glad. Really? You're glad that a show like fucking Louis got canceled? That was Hilarious. a great show. It had nothing to do I'm with it. I'm glad I got man. canceled, too. I'm, I wouldn't be fucking nominated for an Emmy if I did, if I was so lucky, Louis. a very good following. They just decided yes. to pass it. doesn't him. matter. If he didn't, if yeah, you're past that, obviously. It doesn't matter, and yeah. you're now Emmy nominated for if your stand-up special. If didn't have his fat head buried so far up Howard's asshole, he wouldn't be working for this company anyway, so no, the shut thing, the fuck up. The reason he got mad at me is because, you know, my bit that I did on Conan about everything's great and nobody's happy and about airplanes and how... It's a brilliant bit. Nobody cares anymore that we have amazing right, phones right. and airplanes. Yeah. It was just a bit that caught fire and it was huge. So his guy that works on his show... Bubba, he, he really loved the bit and asked me to do it. So I start. he was like, tell me, do some of it, like on the air. Okay, so I start talking about how phones, you know, you should be happy that they work. And Bubba goes, well, I don't know, when my phone doesn't work on a, uh, when I get mad when my phone doesn't work, I mean, I'm going to pay customer. I have a right. So he just, this run, isn't he walks a discussion. Right. No, but also he, it was, he walked right into the teeth of the bit. The bit is right, how, right. what whiners people are. So he starts whining. Jesus. So I go, he goes, <laughs> I go over a bridge every morning on the way to work and the phone cracks out halfway across the bridge. And I go, you can't stop talking for during a, a ride across a bridge? Like, what was so yeah. important? Who even cared what you were saying when it cracked out? What is it? He goes, wow, I was making a deal. I was making money for America. I'm like, no, you weren't. You were whining about something else to somebody else. I went after him because that's, that's how the bit works. Yeah. And he got really mad and said, yeah, you're no Joe Rogan, and he cut me off. And then he bitched to his people that I was... Oh. Uh, he was like, uh, yeah, well, don't do your bit to me. This is my show. He's just one of those spoiled brat radio oh, guys. Yeah, he's an asshole. Don't he's... do your comedy at me. This is my show. I, You know, he just got insulted personally. He, you know what it is with him? He's failed for so long uh, trying to make a name for himself. I he never really about got it. that yeah. like that name for himself that he's so bitter and miserable to anyone with any bit of success. He did make a name for himself. Bubba the Love Sponge. Yeah, yeah. What a great... <laughs> what fucking name is that to What a make great for name. It's his Literally legal, made it's a his name for himself. Name. It's his legal name, too. And it's a oh. stupid name. <laughs> Horrible. What, a, well, what an asshole. No, that's why I said you're such a baby that you need your phone to work and no one can say anything to you. Now we get it. Totally. Yeah. yeah. So. Fuck him. You don't like Shit. doing radio shows, do you, though? I love it when it's fun. Yeah. It's a great way to spend time when it's a good yeah. time. This is the only show I actually enjoy doing. I mean, I don't... When you get... Uh, but, you know. I mean, out of all the radio shows you do, the percentage of shows that are fun to do? One. <laughs> I mean, literally, I probably do 100 one. a year, and you're, you guys is this the one that's good. <laughs> it's literally 1%, one, <laughs> one out of 100. Jesus. No, they, they there's some... Have, they all have that, uh, like... Um, pat format thing that you yeah. gotta do you gotta you gotta play to their rules and everything it's like fuck no they let, just let come in and come be in funny and and there's out. people that know you know when i did that movie uh ricky gervais's movie the this side well it's called the invention of lying now but the uh e e entertainment tonight or one of those shows came i don't even know which one extra whatever yeah one of them it doesn't matter doesn't fucking matter no and uh they asked to talk to all of us so they talked to me and ricky and jennifer garner was there so they did me and Ricky first, and I went up and just got into shit with the woman. I ended up getting in an argument with this lady. <laughs> She's just asking me these questions. I'm like, what? What is that supposed to mean? Like, I didn't understand how the thing operated, you know? <laughs> she was like, uh, something about, said something about my weight or something. I'm like, you're going to call me fat on your show? What, yeah, what you know, what's wrong is? with you? And she's like, what? And she, And it was a mess. 
And and then Ricky oh, sat down. Ricky's right. a pretty smart guy, and he ends up going, "What what what on earth is that supposed to mean?" And Ricky gets in a fight with a woman. Touch, pardon me. That's Holy all right. What happened? Shit. Where did she? Holy come from? fucked up person who is in she? the anus. Who was she? She from the oh front too. Dude, she was really cute. Oh my god. Who you know who is she that? is, Danny? Who is that? Yeah, find out. Do some recon. Oh right, find out Lou. everything. Find out everything. Jesus. You're right, Lou? You just, oh my god. The back of your head just hit the microphone. I just <laughs> You're right. Oh, do you know? <laughs> of course Sam, Sam knows. Sam knows. Sam knows. Who is that? Who's that? That's one of Cavino and Rich's intern. I think it's Cavino's oh cousin. Oh my god. Well, how what? about we get her to intern for our show? <laughs> yeah. What do you, do you guys want me to go grab her? I should make her the program director. For, I mean, and bring her in on the show. I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> yeah, let's talk to her. <laughs> let's, let's talk to her for a couple of seconds. We're going to fuck up everything. You know that. Yeah, let's talk to her for a couple of seconds. Let's see this. Oh, my God. He's Look running. at Sam running. He's Honestly, running with, he with, those, to run. with those feet, too. Yeah, he's got floppy feet. He's got, feet. like, duck feet. It's like clown shoes when he oh, runs. Oh, we're going to actually see him intercept. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look at this. Here comes the intercept. The gaunt. It's ten miles. We we he's out, out, out of breath. He's, like, <laughs> he's out of breath already. Completely across the building, like, hey, could you? I'll be an Anthony. Want to talk to you? Would you come on the show for a minute? You just, Can you come over? They want to talk to you for a minute. Yeah, she came walking by this way. Yeah. I saw her coming through this way and was like, "Who the mm. fuck is that?" You're gonna make a. You're gonna. You know what? You're gonna make a, play? Make a move. Make a little a play? play. Make a little play. I don't know. Lou, you dating? Uh, that sort of not the last few, like, month or so, mm -hmm. but I was, yeah. You are doing all right out there? Yeah, man. Uh, young girls like weird guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Turns out. And that's something. I've learned a lot from divorce. <laughs> yeah. Young yeah. women take it in the ass. <laughs> I had no idea that shit was going on. <laughs> When I was a kid, it was like, I don't know, maybe if you, got, like, a woman that was a hooker and now she's 45, she might let you fuck her in the ass. Yeah. But women oh, in their Asian. 20s, women in their early 20s it's, are like, it's just a prerequisite. Change the subject. Hi. 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 We got it. How are you? What's Good, your name? How are you? What's your name? My name's Jamie. Jamie. Hi, we, Jamie. We had a real important show going on, and then you walk by, and we don't even remember Completely. what we're talking about. Completely. <laughs> you Changed derailed the program. the program. Yeah. Oh, you you're sweet. You derailed Thanks. the show. You came walking Thank by this you. lane. It was like, I'm not even wearing heels today. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't Aww, matter. It's great to meet like, you guys. Who is that? Now, where, did, where, where the hell did you come from? Uh, I actually... <laughs> where in holy hell did you where emerge in, from? God damn hell! Did yeah, basically most of the broads around here. Ugh, well, yeah, I was uh, I was interning with a, with another channel, and now I'm with my cousin Steve Cavino on the Cavino and Rich show. Really? Yeah, I'm having a good time Where, too. Where's yeah. your cousin? Because we're making a trade. Sam, is you're, he Sam, you're done. I would what? love to work with you guys. Holy All right, you know what? Shit. I'll give you my See? schedule. How easy <laughs> but, that is, fellas. Sam, once wow. you get a mic and say goodbye to the Opie and Anthony audience. So, yeah, guys. Look, I'm very valuable to this show. Show. Say goodbye. Sam, 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 say goodbye. Sam, 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 just goodbye. Just goodbye. Just goodbye. 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 Kenny, where's Kenny? Drag Sam out. No, I want to go. Afro. Kenny, you know how much no. I do. Yeah, Say Kenny, goodbye to the out. audience. Oh, no. Get him out. No. Just get him out. <laughs> goodbye, You're Sam. Done. Oh, You're right. done. Have fun on the Maxim so channel. So done. Yeah, so long. Ahead. There he goes. There you go. Bye, Sam. So how oh, long have you been so with them? Bad. Don't feel um, just bad. Just probably a couple weeks. I yeah, because I haven't yeah. seen you around. You'd have been, like, noticed. You think? Yeah, you'd have been noticed. You, you, don't, you don't know you're hot? You got. Well, yeah, she you knows. gotta know your she, she does. No. She knows. She goes to like a bar and everybody's like, oh. she's, she's not wearing a sweater, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she knows. Like, she looks like good. I know I'm an asshole. You gotta know you're hot. Well, thank you. I try to. I try to keep you know a good head on my shoulders. Yeah, just yeah. trying to lurk around. You know, the no, you don't even have to try. You got a. Uh, you, you got a boyfriend? No, I don't actually. Ooh. I don't. Oh, do you go out a lot? Um, I try to. I work a lot now since I'm interning here. That's so, good. Yeah, so uh, I, you, I bartend. Cool? you have a regular job too. You bartend? Yeah, I do. So oh, it's cool. it's kind of like going out. Is Only it, the guys is. can't really hop behind the bar and get you. You know, well, they, they can, must but... just like <laughs> oh, they gotta I, keep behind the bar. It's a I rule. I think every know? girl I've ever gone out with has been a bartender, and they like it's good you know, money. You go there, good, it's good money. money. But some of the guys you're dealing with there are like, woo. They just do not let up. Mm. They don't let up. Do you, do you? It's true. I used to be a shot girl, like the cocktail waitress oh, thing, yeah, and that yeah, was a yeah, lot yeah. more invasive. I'm like, yeah, sure, you can see my butt cheeks if you give me a hundred bucks, just, you know? Yeah, it's grabbing. It's terrible. You, it's is really that price bad. still on the market? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little that. bit. Uh, it's a little more invasive. <laughs> yeah. 
but I like bartending though. It's good. Yeah, where, where, what, like, what? How not, old not are you? exactly, but I live at the Jersey Shore. Actually. Jersey Shore? Yeah, I'm 24. 24? Uh, yeah. That's the surprise, isn't it? Yeah. I get mistaken. She looks like 19. Younger, yeah, you look like 19. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're probably a. Depends on what I'm huh? wearing, you know. Yeah. Like yeah. if I have like what a makes shirt you look... with the cleave showing, and people are like, oh, you're like yeah. a little yeah. bit older. I gotta take an awkward picture. So. For yeah. You. Okay. I gotta let everyone know. <laughs> Yeah. Also, that we, that we could, Sam for you. could you <laughs> could you take a picture? Um, <laughs> did you? She's like a celebrity. I put it on my. I know. I put it on where my, is it? Where are all these pictures I put going? It on my and say you're my girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. Right. I should have worn heels today. See, I should have tried to look yeah. nice. No, I it's okay. This is what happened to Anthony. He wants everybody to think. You just get one for <laughs> so I put on classmates, and I have a different girlfriend. Should I bite his nipple? Ooh. Wow. Well, if you want, sure. Two in there. Cool. Thank you. Oh, oh you well, guys, no, thank you, you so much. You can still hang out. Oh, you. okay. Oh, no, you, wanna, you want to meet <laughs> Seth Rogen? <laughs> We actually, I, I saw him, but he walked right past me. Why would he walk? Wow, past he must be a homo. Gay. I don't know. I think he was. I think he was in a rush. Right Seth Rogen's a homo. Are you guys interviewing him now? I think we're supposed to. Yeah, we Are might. You? We might blow him off for you though. Cool. Well, oh, I would yeah. love to hang out and just shake second. his hand. He's yeah. my favorite. Why not? I came in early what? today just to meet him. Did so. you? I did. And he, and he didn't even notice you. No. He's no. your favorite they, they get what? So jaded. He's my favorite like comedian. I don't yeah. know, you know, actor. I they get know. jaded. But he's These funny guys. as hell, so <laughs> so I like him. Is he still your favorite even though he didn't say anything to you when you no, walked um, by? Um I don't know, it depends. He's got second chance. Mm. If he doesn't then I hey, don't know. Louis mm. had a very uh, good observation. Louis is uh Louis. dating and you had a nice observation about a young girl. <laughs> <laughs> Did he? Yeah, yeah. Didn't you, Lou, or, or you have? I was telling them that I was. <laughs> or do you have amnesia? I'm, right I'm now? interested. Are you? I am. Yeah. For real. Yeah, it yeah. turns out, <laughs> and I didn't expect this, it's that young turned... girls take it in the ass now and again. But I didn't know that. You know what? They really do. They do, they right? Really do. They do. See, I had a feeling I could say that it's to you. It's terrible be a because I. Even <laughs> it's if terrible. I, even, like even it's even happening out in the street. I wouldn't talk about it. Like it's I wouldn't be like, hey guys, yes. I got it in the butt yesterday. You yeah. know? Keep it to yourself, right? I, yeah. I well, it's just that they it. offer it up a lot more easily. And they, and it, it's like I got an extra cigarette, like offered like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, I take it in the ass, by the way, if you're interested. I know. It's so strange. And I'm like, it's the pornography industry. They love us. Oh I think that's God. true. I think that's why. And guys always ask too, you know. Yeah. Do they? I they never asked ask. once a girl if she'd let me yeah. fuck her ass. Yeah. And I and haven't done it still because I don't great. really. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Stay in for Seth Rogen. <laughs> I think that that's All the right, line. Cool. That's Thanks for what, grabbing me. No, no, stay Seth right Rogan. there. Stay right Seth. Here? Yes. Oh, okay. That's what makes you a gentleman is that you don't ask a woman to let yeah. you fuck her in the ass. Which, that's a really which, nice which line. Would ever be a problem. Hey, what's up, dude? Maybe give you a call and hang out. Who? You, me. Seth. Oh, no, no, let's hang out. Would that be cool? Uh, absolutely, Would you yeah. you put your number in my phone? Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we got we to explain uh, to wow. Seth Rogen. Of course you know Louis, Louis C.K., okay. Opie and Anthony. Okay. Did I walk into a date rape? Can, 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 I, can, I, can I give it afterwards? It's a soft date rape. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because I'll just, I can call it. Oh, yeah, it's easy yeah. to call it. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. It's yeah, it's so, easier. It's more yeah. of a lunch okay, date rape. We just learned, Seth, try and, you know. We just learned that she's a new intern on the Maxim channel. Yes. We just fired yeah. this guy t- <laughs> they just, to bring they, her they aboard. They dragged him out. And Good. Louie just got some info out of her that she, uh, she she agrees that young women take it in the ass. So Good. welcome to the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> I, I, yeah. really, I found my home, guys. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> yeah. They yeah, they, they do. And now they've exchanged they numbers. They take it right in the dirty hole. But, yeah, I just want to, you know, because I figure if you're, you're you know, you're not, you don't have a boyfriend or anything. No, I don't. Go out and hang out. Oh, yeah. she's a big fan of yours, Seth, too. I am. You are my absolute favorite. You're oh, favorite. I came in early to work today, so. Really? Oh, that's yeah. but you walked right me. by her a few minutes I ago. I did. If I could somehow <laughs> pawn this off to you guys, I yeah. would. I don't know. How to do it. <laughs> she, was bummed, she was bummed that you didn't notice her it's when like, she I did, walked by. I, so. I'm sorry. No, in, in a jujitsu I, type I redirection, I, can... <laughs> I totally did. <laughs> Some Jedi mind trick. Exactly. Out <laughs> Help out. You got a question for Seth before you leave there? Um, yeah, will you go out with, on a date with me? I would like to. <laughs> yeah. oh, that was pretty nice. Well, he has a girlfriend, I know. No, no he's single? not, though. I knew wow. this. I, I thought you were going out with Anthony. She's allowed. I did my Anthony asked her out seconds ago. Gonna... I know, literally. I'm look, sorry, dude. Look, I'm not going to get... Hey, Seth Rogen. I'm, I'm Anthony from the Opie and Anthony <laughs> yeah, show. Yeah, you lose it's to Seth Rogen every time. We lose guys to Seth. Guys on a lot of very popular movies. I don't have a show, though. I understand. Uh, yeah, I know. It's so not like a show. It's not like a show. Yeah. <laughs> Steady work. You have movies. <laughs>
He's that, in some movies, well. but you have you a show. Have a show. I have a show. That's the difference? Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah, on a daily basis, I could pretty much just say what I want. Right, that's right. That's great, yeah, man. Great. I can't Fantastic. do that. No, I'd rather, I'd rather go to a premiere of a huge movie and go, yeah, I'm in that. Yeah. 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 That's fantastic. That seems a little more important than yeah. this, this horse shit than we this do every drivel. day. <laughs> you must be just thrilled to death to be going around like fucking just being whored out to stations all day long. Yeah, it's true. Those those Maxim guys wear some tight shirts. That's what I... That's <laughs> really? what I really, really, that's that's what I've learned today. Really? They, they do wear tight shirts. Yeah. Do they think they're the girls? With I know. That's what I, 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 I want yeah. to see They've been confused. Yeah. <laughs> You're not doing the photo shoot this month. Yeah. Fella. Yuck. Now the new movie. Um, funny people. Funny people. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we were talking about movies though about comedians. Yeah. Uh, don't usually do very well because people don't have give a, hard a fuck time about us. <laughs> yeah, it's not interesting. People have a hard time playing comedians. Like, yeah. Like unless they are working. Louis will comics. attest to that. Yeah. 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 Like, he yeah, saw but us try. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was good though. I saw him at the improv. Like, I could see. I could see you doing that though, because you're, you're like a funny. You guy did it too, like, right? I did. I started out doing stand up. Yes. So. I saw it's easy That's for you. That's the difference. But when you get someone because. I, what I always think of is that fucking movie with Tom Hanks. Oh, and punchline. We, we all oh. talked about it. You had to have. Oh, yeah. Well, what's, what's funny, the one scene we always talked about is such bullshit and they all have lockers at the comedy yeah. club. <laughs> yeah. And we all yeah. talked about, like, we just can't have lockers. And then we literally showed up to the set and there was fucking lockers in there. And <laughs> really? Like, yeah. We're like, what the hell is this? And we wow. covered it up with, like, a soda machine or something. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, I mean, we were really scared. I mean, it was hard. You know, for me, I mean, I was supposed to, I had done stand up. So actually, for me, it wasn't that hard. It was more like just writing a shitload of jokes for the movie that was the challenge. But like Jonah Hill had never done stand up yeah, and yeah. had to look like he was good at it and been doing yep. it for years. And one night, me and Jonah went to the improv. And we were both like, oh, that, like, we did our sets. We were like, oh, that wasn't bad. And then Louis went up and, like, just fucking annihilated. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was crazy. <laughs> and me and Jonah were just in the back, just like, oh, shit, that's so much. What are we doing? Why are we? So I was saying, like, I felt done. like, I felt like how, like, like an actor must play when they play, like, a baseball player. And then, like, A Rod shows up and they're like, oh, there's real baseball players here. <laughs> and, like, in the movie, they've been making it look like I can hit a home run. <laughs> But uh, but what's funny is that Jonah did stand up for like six months for the fucking movie, and mm. then he's literally, if you see it, he's in it for like four and a half seconds to really? stand up. Yeah, oh, and after not, all that work, after all that, it's not even a joke he wrote. It's a joke Sam uh, wrote. Really? <laughs> I feel so bad oh. about it. And he's never gonna do it again. Oh, right? Never, never, ever no. gonna do it again. You killed him. He always wow. did. <laughs> Louis <laughs> killed him. All his confidence Louis, away. Louis crushed well, him. I remember that night you guys came in, and it was like. Um, you you had to assert your power over us. Yeah, it was yeah no, no, definitely. No, when you guys run, I was definitely like, no, okay, let's let's show these ass. Let's <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah, yeah, this is how it's done. But because you know how actors are when comedians go into a movie. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Jimmy's told me a lot uh, that, mm -hmm. that when the, he walks up, it's like, oh, the comedian's here to do yeah, his, here little, his little funny part, and he doesn't mm -hmm. know he's not an actor, so he yeah. doesn't understand. So it must be nice. Which is to just usually the case. Drill well, it's always the case. Yeah, the doing. What the fuck doing. Jimmy, Jimmy's problem is he doesn't know ever know what to do with his hands when he's acting. That's really funny. Like, put just, it in your pocket up, or yeah. just keep, keep it straight up like you're being held up in the Old West. That's why I hold things. Just always hold things. <laughs> yeah, just hold something all the time. Yeah. No, but I remember Seth actually looked like a stand-up when he was doing it. He yeah. looked like a comedian. Like his brain was functioning like a comedian, but Jonah was, Jonah full, was freaking out. full of ticks, and he kept swinging his arms around, and he wouldn't let go with a fucking mic stand and it was a, it was a mess. I remember you were talking to Jonah after trying to encourage him mm -hmm. and all you could muster was at the end you said nice to meet you to the yeah. audience. That was very polite. Yeah, was very, <laughs> that was good. You did you did compliment his jokes, merely his demeanor on stage. Yeah, at least and if then you, it was polite. Yeah. The best part at least was when if he you're left not rude. Is what you're yeah. <laughs> you weren't funny at all, but you were not rude to the audience. Rude to the audience. <laughs> a cordial gentleman. That's, that's nice. You were cordial in your bombing. <laughs> About as good as a god. You have another question for Seth? Yeah, I was just uh, like, kidding, by the way. I oh, it's okay. So I'm not trying to. Oh, no, don't worry. Don't <laughs> worry. So she's lovely. You want to go out with Louis C.K.? <laughs> Anyone else? No. <laughs> no, no. Um, Jesus. My other question. Um, Come on, my... Gosh. I'm oh, sorry. When did, where did you get your start? Sorry. That's where I want to know. Because I'm trying to break into this radio industry, and I want to know. You're doing good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate Today to break I it to am. you, but you're on the radio right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Literally on an exact part. Sometimes you just have to look around to see that you've made it. You've done it. 
what was like your what was like your funniest starting moment? Uh, where, where I don't you know. Started? I mean, I started doing stand up. Like that's to me that was like a very obtainable career path. Like I thought if you do like you could get up in a comedy club, that seemed like something that was possible. And it just seemed like if you were funny, then you would go out to other comedy clubs. Uh, so I think by being on the radio, you got a really great jump start for ultimately being on the radio. <laughs> Did you just, were you doing stand up and then just started going on auditions or what the fuck? Like, how yeah, like I the, wasn't, the uh, at near the end of high school became clear I wasn't going to graduate because I just smoked mm. weed all day instead of going to class. So I decided I should probably try to get a job. You didn't uh, graduate high school? No, I didn't graduate oh, high awesome. school. So I, uh, I decided I should start trying to audition for things and I got an agent like through doing stand up and then freaks and geeks was like the second audition yeah. i went on wow. and that's how i met judd and that was like 12 years ago wow. almost and i've wow. literally been working with and him that was your since overnight then. success i mean <laughs> hey, after if you consider a show that yeah. got canceled after 10 episodes <laughs> an overnight success what but between my experience of you is was freaks and geeks Nothing then, for eight years. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. And then your whole face for knocked up. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, because I remember you were in smaller parts in those other movies, but yeah. that was like. So yeah. what the fuck did you do for eight years? I uh, We did another show called Undeclared, which I was a writer for, and then I started writing. Oh, that was on Fox, Yeah, right? it was on See, Fox. I forgot that existed. And, oh, many people did. <laughs> yeah. And, uh then I just, I would help Judd rewrite movies, and then I wrote for Sasha Bear. I wrote for the Ali G Show mm -hmm. uh, for the oh, second really? season. Yeah. I didn't know that. And uh, I was just kind of like a writer, like a writer right. for hire. And then 40 Old Virgin coincidentally just kind of came up, and Judd wow. put me in it. Yeah. Did you want to write, or, or was it one of those, like, God damn, like, I'm sick of doing this. I want to get in front of the camera. No, honestly, like, when you're, I mean, there was very little precedent for guys like me. And for, I literally remember, like, looking at guys like Vincent D'Onofrio and being like, maybe. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like he did it. Maybe I could do it. <laughs> um, but, no, I never assumed that they would ever want me in front of the camera. I was more mm -hmm. than happy being a writer. I mean, that, Did you do stand-up during any of that time or just writing? I stopped pretty much when I moved to L.A. because yeah. the game, it was just Hard so stage, different. Yeah. Like, yeah. Also, mm -hmm. I just remember thinking it was so loud. That was like really yeah. the weirdest. Like, I remember thinking, like, all these stand-ups are so loud. Like, yeah, that's true. In Vancouver, everyone, you just wrote your jokes and you told them. It was very much about mm -hmm. the writing of the joke and like yeah. kind of just making the other comics laugh. And then I got out to L.A. and I was like, oh, all these people just want to be on sitcoms. Mm -hmm. And they just want to like show instantly like what the show would be. And it's yep. like, oh, uh, I'm a Mexican guy, but I got white parents. Like, <laughs> <laughs> And I, I just remember like thinking I could never do that. And so I just kind of stopped. <laughs> yeah, this is smart. Yeah. No, it is. It's very desperate comedy in L.A. Yeah, and it is like that. Everybody's first five jokes is who the members different. of their family yeah, are. It's like, oh, I see. That's who you want. Yeah, it's like, here's where the sitcom would be. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's literally it. casting, and they're doing impressions of the people and shit. And then, Horrible. And then I had jokes about, like, waiting for the bus. And, like, yeah. it was just, like, but what's the show about? Yeah, exactly. About a guy waiting what for the get? fucking bus? Yeah. Yeah, it's, <laughs> you get uh, you get well-received in, in the movies. Did you ever think... Uh, getting in front of the camera that you, you'd have the ability to actually do it? I mean, because you say you didn't really think you, you'd be chosen to do that because, of, I don't know, what, the way you look? You think you no, I mean, I, I was not good at it at first, honestly. Like, if you go back and watch old Freaks and Geeks episodes, like, I really sucked at the beginning. Like, it was a real learning curve for me. Like, I have mm -hmm. a hard time watching myself. Like, I was not good at it when I first right, started. Yeah. I definitely got better as it uh, as time went on, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and I did more and more stuff, so... Yeah, no, I never assumed. Like, I would watch myself on those Freaks and Geeks episodes and be like, what the fuck? Yeah, why why are they doing game. this? Yeah, like, <laughs> never acting again. My voice just sounded so weird and loud, and, like, it just seemed very strange. Do you, uh, do you look at message boards and criticism of yourself and shit? Because, uh, I uh, do sometimes. It's really entertaining. Well, what's funny is, like, I, like, someone's like, look at the funny people reviews. And I went online, and I, like, I only read the bad ones. Like, <laughs> of course. <laughs> literally all. Now I you like, skim through a brilliant, <laughs> yeah, whatever brilliant it is. Brilliant genius. Great. And then it's like, Seth Rogen's a useless. Idiot. It's like, oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> Give me more. <laughs> it is fascinating to picture a person really like typing hard on the keys that they hate you. And Just stuff. mad, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, so mad. I mean, yeah. it's really it. amazing. They yeah. get angry. People yeah. genuinely get angry at. Well, the, it's the somebody. only passion anymore is hate. I mean, nobody yeah. really loves anything. No, it's, it's never true. like this movie is wonderful. It's all like. Yeah, it works, except for this fucking asshole. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <It's all laughs> just... Or they're always just indifferent to it. They're always just like, meh. Like, yeah, yeah, no. Oh, God. <laughs> no, That's it goes, right. all our, our st standards go from C to F. That's it. Yeah. yeah. It's either passing. Yeah, it's fine. It's good. Mm -hmm. 
or yeah, just fucking piece of shit. It's not like this is brilliant. This is know. brilliant. I know. Yeah. You're but, getting quite the little um, uh, Rat Pack going with the same, you know, some of the same assholes in every movie. Some of the same assholes in every movie. Assholes in every movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. It's annoying. What's funny is like. I remember I was at, like, a test screening for Meet the Fuckers, which was, like, mm-hmm. the 15 millionth movie that Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson were in together. Mm-hmm. And, like, the director after the screening was like, who's just sick of seeing these guys in movies <laughs> together? And I was like, I am. I never want to see these fucking guys together again. <laughs> and now me and Jonah, this is, like, our 19th movie together. Like, I'm sorry. We did it. We we, we fell into the trap. <laughs> if it, I mean, if it works, what the fuck, you know? Yeah, right on. Do you just Keep look at going. each other and go, when, when the fuck is this gravy train going to exactly. be Exactly. I know. We do all the time. And uh, it's that's why well, yeah spend now right <laughs> yeah. yeah bob hope and uh what's his name bing crosby bang yeah exactly bang. i was watching a movie with charlton heston uh about a circus i forget what it's oh, called oh yeah i saw that one but it's a serious movie it's yeah, like a yeah. serious movie about a circus and there's a scene <laughs> yeah, it's like a first so. mistake yeah exactly <laughs> and there's a woman on a high is... wire yeah there's a woman on the trapeze up. and she's doing something really serious and very scary and they pan the audience looking up at her and in the audience is Bob Hope and uh, Bing Crosby, really? looking up, uh, looking all scared like everybody else. And that's it. That's their own, they're just in that's, a shot. That's cameo. a cameo. <laughs> and it must have been like they were in the lot just fucking around. Jump in, like, jump in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was the one where also Charlton Heston had that that old time uh, good body. Yeah. Where, where it was like back a triangle. then it was good. Yeah. But yeah, back now then. it like wouldn't walk. No, no. Yeah. And yeah. It was, he was uh, the macho guy. The hairy chest. And all, yeah. The smile with the big teeth. Like, women found him a sex symbol and attractive, and you see him in Planet of the Apes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just <was> fucking <laughs> He looks like a guy at a hardware store. Yeah. Like, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> that guy? <laughs> we got to ask Seth, if, uh, did you turn Kevin Smith on a smoking pot? Apparently I did. Because Kevin what, comes in a lot. He's kind yeah. of a friend of the show. I, that's what I've been told. He hasn't, I mean, yeah, I mean, he hadn't smoked weed in a long time. Yeah. And then we did Zach and Miri together, and yeah. I, uh, I'm i a bad influence, I guess. And I, at the end of the movie, I was just, you know, he had, like, cut the movie together almost uh, by the time we finished shooting. So I was like, let's just smoke a bunch of weed and watch watch, watch what we got. And then apparently he never stopped. He, no, no. Stop. <laughs> wow. he, he is way in now. Yeah, he's like, So really? he started smoking pot, like, in his 40s? Yeah, exactly. Yes. That's crazy. It's really quite weird. He got through adolescence yeah. and all that shit, and then... He, he, well, I think he had smoked earlier on and then quit and stopped. But then any time yeah. you well, bump into no... a Canadian, yeah, you exactly. start smoking You just have to smoke again. weed. <laughs> I never thought he has no kids, was like though, right? this. Got, he does. He's got kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He does? He's yeah, a daughter, yeah. yeah. Daughter, right? Yeah, daughter, mm. wife. But deal. he says, man, Seth uh, got me on this path. Mm. I'm I was talking to recently. He's too. like, you know the best thing about now is I don't care about anything. Glad I did that for you. I used to worry about things. Well, Vancouver is very... Pot heavy. There's like it a really haze is. over the city. Yeah, I mean, pot smoke. yeah, it's it's totally acceptable. It was really weird moving to L.A. and where it was not accepted, yeah. and I got arrested for it because oh, I was, wow, you can't really? just smoke weed everywhere here. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? But you kind of can again now because now they have prescriptions and shit. So it's kind of yeah. it's back on the table, guys. Thank God. Right on. Were you pissed off at the uh, title bullshit with uh, Zach and Mary? It was like, uh, yeah, Harvey Weinstein's a real motherfucker. Yeah, huh? yeah. yeah, that guy. <laughs> that guy. Oh man. <laughs> Go, girl. Wow. Yeah, he decided to change the title the the week before the movie came out. Which what was like, the name we, of the movie? It was Zach and Mary out. make a porno, and then they just started advertising it as Zach and Mary. Which what does that mean? Period. That mean exactly. Anything. Like yeah. a Catherine what? Heigl movie? Yeah, like, exactly. Oh, you're in a <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a bad <laughs> one. <Jesus. laughs> oh, I <laughs> Totally honest mistake. I'll take that. Like I a take Catherine it. Heigl, like some asshole, like, like a Catherine like Heigl movie. Fucking dickhead in a Catherine Heigl. Some, hapless, some hapless piece of shit standing next to Catherine Heigl. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can live with that. Jesus. We're running out of time. That was a good fucking movie, though. That wasn't yeah, a Catherine Heigl movie. That was a Wait. Seth Rogen movie. It was. And then she went and made those other Hold ones. On. But that was that movie. Then, then no, she no. made those. That movie made me Wait. cry. We, we had one problem with that movie that we discussed. What, knocked up? She didn't fucking go topless, which I was know. weird that she's doing those sex scenes with a brawn. Yeah, it's what weird. What the fuck was that about? You I got know, any I'll, inside scoop on that? 
She had a good lawyer. I don't know, man. My ass was out. All I could think was like, she has a better lawyer than I do. You can see my fucking sphincter in this movie and totally unnecessarily. And you don't even see her areola in the that fucking the, thing. Yeah. That was the only problem we had with the movie. That, that was it. a really was fucking good movie. Yeah, it was sure. That was really good. We're, we're going to lose Seth in a few minutes and we haven't even yeah. talked about funny people. I know. Okay. Now, is it a serious movie? Is it a, a funny movie? You're getting like mixed uh, signals on this one. Uh, I personally think it's funny. I mean, there's definitely serious scenes in it, but to me, it plays as a comedy. I mean, it gets laughs throughout. I would not. I don't go see serious movies personally. No. I mean, I'm the last guy to go see the fucking Changeling, you know. Uh, so, I mean, it, it's a movie I would go see. So I would say it's a comedy. Yeah, I mean, right it's, it's to me the best parts are. You know, the parts about the stand-up comics and about the kind of me and my roommates are all kind of trying to break into comedy. We're all in competition with one another, and that's shit that's, like, literally directly out of my mm -hmm. life. So, yeah. uh, to me, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a real comedy. And Adam Sandler, just a prick to work with, right? He's a real asshole. <laughs> 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 tough, tough man. Uh, yeah, what, is it out yet? It comes out on tomorrow. I want to see it. I'm really nervous for you to see I didn't know it was about that. Da, da, da. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really am. Well, but the, that is interesting, though, the life of the – because I lived with a comedian, too, when I was starting out in Boston. And uh, I lived with David Cross for a while. Oh, but really? Before, really? Yeah. But before we lived together, I lived – and also, and we were competitive. Dave and I are, you know, friends for years. Yeah. But and when we lived together, it was like a like a I mean, it was almost gay because I was so happy. Yeah, because <laughs> we were such good friends. And then we found a situation where he lost a roommate and I moved in, and then we started hating each other because yeah. I because I got started making a living at comedy first, and he was a mess a fucking foot messenger in Boston oh. in the winter. And he'd come home after a long day, and I'd still be asleep because oh. I was still standing for the movie. He hated me for it. That's exactly what you. you shit, that is yeah. literally the dynamic that's in the yeah. movie. <laughs> in it. Like Jason Schwartzman's character is on like a really shitty sitcom, and he just rubs the money in our face. <laughs> and <laughs> Jonah's cool. like a regular at the Improv, and I can't mm -hmm. get on at the Improv, and we all kind of fuck. No, each that's other what. Over. And Anthony yeah. Clark was the first guy that we knew that started oh. making real money, and he used to show us his checks to be an oh, asshole. Literally, an asshole. that's the scene in the movie, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that makes me really want to see it. <laughs> I mean, I you know, you guys will, on stage is it is, but you know what though, if you pull it off, it's hilarious yeah. to me. Mm -hmm. That it took me twenty five years to become a really good comedian. And for this guy, it's like two years plus Judd Apatow <laughs> directing. <laughs> and he's there. We have editing. It's a lot of editing. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> if you pull it off, that's awesome. I, I, I'm very nervous for you to see it. So the, it's all the comics, honestly. Like, they're the, it's, it's, it, it's, it scares me. I mean, cause, I mean, honestly, like, I, like, I generally, you know, don't have that much personal investment in these movies. Like, you know, if, if high school kids don't like super bad, it's like, ah, fuck you, you know. I thought, you know <laughs> to me, it was funny. Yeah. But, like, when you're really trying to make a movie about comedy and comedians, like, that's a lot of scrutiny to put yeah. yourself under. Well, it's a ballsy yeah. thing to do. I know. And I know if someone else did it, I'd be the first guy to be like, fuck you. How can you try to qualify <laughs> what we do like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you're going to be bumping into these people, you know. Yeah, exactly. Go, hey, how was yeah. the movie? You know, oh, I saw the movie. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I liked your locker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got to uh, wrap. Yeah, we got to wrap up. So yeah, funny people. Oh, we got in trouble. You don't yeah. really have to promote this thing. It looks like it's going to be a hit. Promotes yeah. itself. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's getting self-promoting. Rotten Tomatoes giving it good reviews. So seventy-one yeah, percent so. positive. That's nice. That's I'm going to go. That's see a nice it. number. Yeah, we're all going to go see. Not it. bad. Thank Seth. you, man. Seth. Yeah, man. Thanks. Okay, man. Cheers, Thanks gentlemen. Man. Please Thank come back. Yeah. I will. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Next movie. Exactly. All right. We'll be back. Thank you, guys. Fucking Louis C.K. That's what I say today. <laughs> Opie and Anthony. <laughs> Fucking that Catherine Hagel line. Oh my god! During the Seth Rogen interview was uh, oh my one god. for the ages. It's, I really uh, that was totally honest. Yeah. Because I see that poster of her. The new movie, the chick flick. Well, she's the new Sandra Bullock. Right. She's the new fucking unfunny. Fucking here she is in a comedy. How the fuck did she get a comedy? Right. We lost Dan. Like an institutional. Uh, uh, no, I was going to say, I, I was going to say we lost you. I think you're already texting to your new girlfriend. No, I didn't. I'm not texting. All right. No, no. Continue. I'm sorry. I, had, I just wanted you to know where that was. I had to adjust a, um, a setting. <laughs> we're we're <laughs> adjusting a setting. Louis, there's so many ugly broads yeah. here that when one 
comes by the window like that. We just... No, see, that girl was office cute. <laughs> she was office cute. <laughs> office. Go out to her in the break room with your heart fluttering. Is there any way we could go out? And she says, sure. And you're like, I can't believe it. Then you get her outside the building and you go, can we go back in the building? I got, I got work to do, <laughs> you fucking pig. Office. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but <laughs> there's the, the policy office. you're talking about. Getting back Where to the it? oh yeah, look at that. Oh, and... ha ha! High you goal fucking and... assholes. Yeah. I, I've I've been going off on the these ugly truth. Covers, Nothing these makes video me... covers yeah. or posters for months now. I can't yeah. take the stark white background, yeah. the the girl with the the uh ha ha, yeah. and the guy with the uh, yeah. smug kind of. And there's so many of these. But, no. but see, the guy has the heart over his crotch, oh, and she has it near her brain because, see, we. This is what think we're trying to say is that, yeah. men, you got to shake your finger at a man. Yeah. He's a mess. Yeah. Shut up, phone. <laughs> say a command. And then, you know what happens? I, I love these movies where it's the uh, girl and the guy, and they're thrust together through some circumstance. Mm -hmm. And um, boy, they hate each other. Oh, my God. Ugh. They can't spend a minute with each Ugh. other without arguing. Ugh. No, like fucking George Clooney and what's her stupid, stupid, stupid face? Yes. They're, yes. And they're in a cab, and they're, ugh, I, I can't stand her. I can't stand him. I wonder if they're going to fuck each other in their stupid cunts later. There's another one. Gee, there's another one. No I, I reservations. Back to back. And then their backs a, then are touching and they're looking at each other with a smirk. That's how they all are. Don't you just love that? That's men and women. Then you got to live with them and with women. And... There's a moment where, where they, uh, it's midway through the movie, where it's like, uh oh, I think they're going to hook up. It. I think they're going on here. Think, oh, no, monkey wrench thrown in the works. Uh, oh, and they were so close to actually getting together. But now they hate each other more than ever. But they're starting to realize. There it is, another one. So much back to back. Pretty back woman. to back. White back. Does Hollywood fucking have any sense of originality? Oh, or do it. they just do the same thing over and over and over again? No, and when you see movies like that, I just see the executives over at their video monitor during the takes. And she's like crossing her eyes and falling down. <laughs> and the executives are like, she's funny. She's really funny. That's see, funny. not only nerdy, ugly people are funny. Pretty people are too. Like that's like that, the big yeah, code yeah. crack. Yeah. Is that they want desperately want like when you're oh. in high school, when you're in high school, either you're a jo a fucking dumb jock that gets to fuck the vacant cunt blonde, <laughs> or you're the fucking clever, kind of gnarly looking but clever dude who fucking gets into her pussy through her brain. Right. You're. It's one or the other. But the thing in Hollywood is that they're all even the executives are good-looking people. The executives are all popular, good-looking people, mm -hmm. and they desperately want to find... It's like Muslims looking for a blonde guy that'll go on an airplane with a bomb. They'll never get it. They'll just like never we, get it. That's the ideal person. <laughs> the most they could get is like giving that Mohammed Ada guy like a haircut and he's got this awkward smile. But today he would never get on now. No, no, no. But they're trying to get a good-looking woman who's fucking funny. But she, why would she be? She didn't have to be. Didn't she didn't have, have to be. Anything she said, people would laugh at. It's not funny. No, not in the least. But they would laugh. But that or good, same thing with the guys. He's fucking, you know, George Clooney. Yeah. Him and Brad Pitt, when they try to do comedy, and they just talk like this, and they do it really fast, and they uh -oh. just and they make little jokes, and they're not funny. Like any of the Oceans movies. Oh, uh, horrible. Like, what the fuck is that? I, I don't understand. Here's 11 people who fucking suck. That's what those movies are called. <laughs> here's a, now title. here's 12 people who that fucking stink. Title. Yes. What, what was the last uh, good movie you saw, though? But the original, by the way, the original Ocean movies were what, like what fucking fantastic. Don Rickles and yeah. Dean Martin yeah, and these yeah. weird weirdos who were fucking... Funny as really hell. Funny guys. Sammy Davis Jr. was not popular in high school. No. Got the shit kicked out of him right. by large white people. <laughs> <laughs> and now, you know, he got his eye literally kicked out. But yeah, yeah. Literally. Well, then you could have, you know, yeah, like you said, George Clooney and stuff just mm -hmm. who never had to no. work at it a day in his fucking yeah. life. Pay people to say they're funny. What was, yeah. what was the last uh, good movie you saw? Or funny movie. Uh, what's going on in shit. Hollywood obviously drives you nuts. Yeah, no, I don't really go. I don't even give anything a chance anymore. You don't even try. To I watch never movies. really go. Oh. Well, I go. I rent crazies. I just. 
Oh my God! That's oh my Goes God the again! Pass. The back to back, dude. It's and it's look, she's got a hold on. He's he's got the smile on, like I'm my own guy. I'll fuck whatever I want, and she's holding it by the scruff. That's going, what you think? I got you. Ugh. P U. P fucking you. P God damn fucking. It. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll tell you the best movie I've seen recently. I want to hear this. A French movie called um, The Pianist, and or The Piano Teacher. Piano teacher. Piano oh. teacher. Piano teacher. There's this woman. Doesn't and sound she's... very good, Louis. No, from it doesn't the, sound very French good. French and the title, I'm going, wow. All right, there's a, I'm gonna going to ruin it for you so that it's care. worth Subtitles? talking about. Yeah. It's you French have to movie. Read? Yes, the pianist. Oh, fuck that reading shit. French reading. woman, and she's a piano teacher at like a high end uh, academy in Paris. And you think you're just watching a movie about a woman who's a really tough teacher and she's very cruel to students that aren't good enough. Mm-hmm. That kind of thing. And she's very weirdly mannered and she has her tea. You know, one of these just like really strict, unsmiling French woman. And then you're watching this movie. It's like 20 minutes. You're like, well, this is an interesting world I'm getting to learn about. I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> and then she yeah. goes into uh, the mall and she walks around. You're just watching her walk around the mall. And then she goes into this video store and you realize it's an adult video store. Oh. And you're like, what's she doing in here? She's proper. Why? She goes into a booth, like a private booth. Puts coins in and starts watching like a f- ass fuck, black <laughs> yeah. dick, white ass. <laughs> ass. You and you, and you come around behind her and you see this in the movie. You see the, the full on sex. And then she there's a little bin, you know, tissue bin. She reaches in and gets a cummy tissue and smells it while she watches Get the, fuck the porn. This and you're like, what kind fantastic. of a movie is this? What kind of a movie is this? The thing is that it's so beautifully shot. You're like, this is just a, <laughs> a nice artsy This film. is an artsy nice, movie about nice artists. glow on the cum tissue. Yeah, with a lot of little <laughs> plant yeah. piano, you know. And then all of a sudden she's smelling a tissue while she's watching a guy fuck a girl in the ass. And she's got the same bitchy look on her face as when she's like with the metronome. That is amazing. And then she, uh, some young pianist guy who she hates because he, she thinks he's a hack. Like he plays very flowery and everybody thinks he's great. Yeah. But she's got, she's hot for him. And so she sees him being nice to a young girl pianist. So then you, so you just see that. You see her observing him being nice to this young girl pianist who's about to do a recital, a student of hers. And then you see her in the cloakroom. You don't know why you're watching this. The whole movie's like this. Like, why am I watching her walk around a cloakroom? She finds a clo- uh, a coat that she was looking for, and then she gets a glass out of the bar and she crushes it, like you know, like at a, a wedding, a Jewish wedding. Puts it in yeah. a napkin and crushes it, and puts crushed glass in the girl's coat pockets. <laughs> then the girl puts her hand and just her fingers are destroyed and she can't do the piano recital. What? This woman is this psychotic, <laughs> wow. horny, crazy bitch. People saying the movie was brilliant but very slow. I guess that would be the walking around part. Yeah, if you're That's a fucking so, uh, American yeah. retard that watches Mel Gibson movies, it's slow. <laughs> if you have, if you fucking take a breath, <laughs> Fuck, can you just stop describe? watching Hulk Hogan's fucking show. You might enjoy life. God, Something damn. different. No, because right? I, I knew, I knew that right when Louis said like. So I'm like, this is nice. I'm getting to know this world. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, you, you can't just learn yeah. that you know in what? a two second clip. It's, yeah, it, it takes, takes a while. A while. But yep. I go to the artsy yeah. theater, so I. I totally get that. You're like, yeah. all right, I'm learning about something right. I would have yeah. never learned about. Right. And then she's and then smelling all of a, sudden, a cum rag. Yeah, well, <laughs> then it gets to something you know all about. It's no, fantastic. It's sick. It's a sick, sick, twisted now movie. Now I want to see the movie. It's one of the best movies I've ever seen, honestly. Wow. And I see really? a lot of movies. Yeah. I'm going to go fucking good. see that today. That makes my, like, like my favorite movies... What's your favorite movie? Like, I feel like an asshole for them being my favorite movie. Police Academy 3? It's not that. (laughs) No, 2 was good. But, uh, no, I like, um, well, Sling Blade, I I always thought was really, really Mm -hmm. good. I thought Billy Bob Thornton was really good. What about a recent one, though? And then, um, uh, recently, I really liked uh, The Prestige. I liked that movie. Fuck, I still haven't seen that. That was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty good. weird little twist there in in the whole thing. And uh, that was pretty well done. Bale was good in that one. Christian Bale's good. Yeah, yeah. So th- that those I like. Yeah, there's no real, you know, stupid. You, astronaut Farmer was fucking killer. Oh, horrible. That was great. And I look at something like Sling Blade, mm-hmm. and written, directed, produced, everything by Billy Bob Thornton. Mm-hmm. And you go, this guy was one more of those away from being brilliant. Yep. Like one more, if you had... One more sling blade in him. Even a half a sling blade. It w- he was he was going to be Billy Bob Thornton fucking, you know, the amazing oh, yeah. 
yep. director, so writer, right. actor. And then he goes and does, you know, Armageddon and fucking yep. astronaut farmer. Yep. And, and Continued all the way to Mr. Woodcock. Mr. Woodcock yep. and stuff. And you're like, what the fuck happened to Carl and that great dialogue and fucking... Uh, uh, it, it was it was amazing. Yeah, no, yeah. I agree. Mm. Doyle, Doyle. What do you think of Doyle Hargrave was great in that? Like just that, and then you think like, okay, Doyle in that movie, um, in Sling Blade, he wrote that. Yeah, he fucking like like Billy Bob. You don't think he wrote his lines too, and wrote the kids' fucking lines and the mother's lines? Mm -hmm. It's like how the fuck you do that? Because they were such great characters, all of them, and and then you know. Mr. Woodcock and fucking... Uh, well, uh, uh, Sylvester Stallone made Rocky. He wrote Rocky, yeah, which is yeah. one of the greatest movies yep. ever, yeah. ever made. Yeah. And yeah. then he proceeded to just and then we have shit to in the mouth of America Cobretti. for the next 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the Officer Cobretti. Call him Cobra. Mm -hmm. God. Oh, oh, fuck, Tango and Cash. Or... Yeah. <laughs> was he in Tango and Cash? He was I, in... No, that's... Isn't no, that, that was a... the other one. Million Tom Hanks? No, no, that was a... Tango and Cash. No, that was... Uh... Yeah, it was still, uh, Stallone, oh. Stallone and, and Kurt Russell. And Kurt right? Russell. Yeah, was gonna, no, you were thinking the one with the with dog. You're thinking of Turner and Hooch. Turner and Turner Hooch. Turner and Hooch. 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 That, was, uh, that was Tom uh, Hanks. That's good. You, you know, you get him confused. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. You got confused there. <laughs> I, don't I don't know why. I don't know. Came out like the same apart. year. <laughs> I think like three months apart yeah. or something. <laughs> hey, changing gears, what do you think of uh, Obama having the beer sit down? We're oh, going to all be talking about this tonight on TV. Oh yeah, I think that was kind of a mess <laughs> that he got into by saying anything about a local thing. I mean, hey, that cop that was so intelligent. I mean, that's oh, what yeah, fucked yeah. him over. It really did. If the cop hadn't said anything, it would have just gone away. But that yeah. cop made just said, hey, I, and he even said, I support the president. I support the president. He goes, hey. uh, it's a <laughs> local thing, and you shouldn't get, you, you don't know everything that happened. Every time something, it just shows, every time something happens when nobody was there, just a private moment between two people, yeah. then everyone's wrong. Absolutely right. everyone's yes. wrong. No one should say a fucking thing. How do you, you don't know you it? weren't there. And then everybody, nobody knows what the woman really said when she called them. Everything gets Here's distorted saying. because people bring their own thing. So yeah. when you start with something and then you become the president saying something, well, the president as definitive as that better. was stupid. You should know better. But it's because, see, then, then nobody knows what it's like to be. Barack Obama and Louis Gates Jr. If you if you if you're black, like here's the thing with Louis Gates Jr. The thing that white people have to keep in mind because we have this different we have different timelines in our heads. <laughs> like white white people often say, I've heard so many white people say slavery was 400 years ago. <laughs> It was 130 years ago. It was really recent. People say that. Hey, that was, well, we started 400 years ago. <laughs> Slavery began. We kind of mopped up. Yeah, we, got a, yeah. we got a couple centuries in. And no, also, no the, hit the lights until right. about 130. 130 years ago is when it really stopped. And also, it didn't stop. And then things have been just awesome for black people since. The, like, that's the, <laughs> the last bad thing to happen to any black person was slavery. 400 years ago. That's what we think. <laughs> and since then, we've just been showering them with uh, gifts yes. since then. It was a. It ended officially 130 years ago. Really mm -hmm. continued for another 80, <laughs> and then give or take. The thing to remember is that if a black guy has or a black woman has a little gray hair at the temples, they lived in an America where they were legally barred from using certain fucking bathrooms, <laughs> where the where the country didn't let them use the fucking bathroom. Keep your big, black, smelly <laughs> cock out of this room, you fucking black bastard. Like, that was the official American law. Right. Was you can't pee anywhere you want, fucking coon. Yeah. That's what it was like. And so you take that. So anybody that age remembers that and has ha had to live and go, okay, thank you for now letting me do what I should have always been able to do. <laughs> or you were raised by somebody. If anybody younger, oh, a young, God, a, a black person in their 30s or younger was raised by somebody who lived in an America like that. Right. So how do you fucking Louis Gates Jr.? He's the president of fucking Harvard and he sees a cop looking at him twice he's like what do i gotta do what the fuck do i gotta do so you're if you're the president of barack obama you got lewis gates jr calling you on the phone and telling you and just screaming at you and you're like oh boy now that's say guys brock's age 
are raised again. They're their parents, so for better or worse. Which one though, the white one or the black one? Well, not, I mean, every black person is. Bro- I mean, imagine how what Brock gets from black people, oh, all than him. Okay, now that you're in there, you got to You're gonna apologize for you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Take down the Washington Monument. He's like, look, I can't take down <laughs> the Washington Monument. black. Listen, I can't take it down. Paint the White House black. I can't. <laughs> look, hand. small moves. You know, <laughs> fuck you. I told you if you get in there, you're painting you know, the White House Uncle black. Tom yes, I did. Look. The White House black. Ugh. You know yeah. when he got the call from Louis Gates Jr., he rubbed his temples and went, oh, God. I got to say I got to say something. I got the something. speech coming up here. I got to say something. I got to say, you know, uh, say something. In front and then of he prefaces his family by saying, I wasn't yeah. there. Yes. Yeah. But, but now let me talk like I was yes. uh, and get into all kinds of trouble. You exactly. So I think he made a mistake by but, saying something, but it's, a, yeah. it's an understandable mistake on some level. What it cr- turns out the cop, though, was... Was that Stalker five... Patty on Maury just now? Yeah. Are they still running that? Yeah. That, yeah, that thing that, is that like... That episode's running today, if anybody again, wants to Again? Yeah. That thing has been wow. rerun probably... Probably ten times. She oh. talks about how she. Uh, anyway. God bless you. Uh, All right. I love, anyway, back to but, the president. But, <laughs> but, yeah. but what a great angle that I, I haven't heard from anyone yet about Obama and the shit he has to hear from people. What he hears from the, from older that black we generation. We never get to hear. No, we have no idea but what it kind of pressure he has. You gotta imagine those phone calls are pretty fucking yeah. brutal. Like you gotta say something. Yeah, you gotta do this for all of us. Yeah. I can't. No, no, and part of having a black president now it is a major difference. Is yeah. that you're gonna hear a perspective you're not used to hearing. That's all, and it's. It's not always going to be right. It's going to be flawed from a black perspective. But it's just we we have never we've never <laughs> been ever oh, been in that situation. The only, here's the only pro- I can wrap it up with 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 people th- believe I am. People mm. believe I'm just a horrific racist. I don't think you are. Don't uh, thank you, Lou. Yeah. I'm uh, not that. I think you're horrific. a delightful I'm very, racist. I'm very good. <laughs> uh, now here's the thing. I cannot stand. The disproportionate amount of crime and violence in the black uh, community amongst black, young black men. Mm -hmm. The disproportionate amount of violence, sheer, brutal fucking violence. And I'm not even talking just against, you know, white folk. Uh, Mm -hmm. Black on black is amazing. It is amazing the willingness and, and quickness at which they will kill each other over nothing. And that, to me, separates. It's too separate. I can't relate to it. I don't know other people that Did can relate to it. Did you ever live in a black? It. Did you ever live in like a black neighborhood? I yes, I lived in Central Islip. I lived on Hawthorne Avenue. If you know where that is. But were you in a, I, like a white enclave, nope, or were you in a black neighborhood? Nope. I was in a black neighborhood with a few white kids that were petrified for their lives on a daily basis going to school. There was this kid. I, I can't. Keith Green, his name was, and he'd come up to me and go, "Give me fifty cent. Give me fifty cent every day." And, and and I'd have to give him 50 cent. Or, <laughs> or it was like, wham, you're getting whacked. Fuck it, you it have to give him 50, 50 cent. cent. And I was yeah, like, it had to be 50. It literally was like, wasn't 50. What? It was 50. Yeah, yeah and, and Danny put the picture of 50 up. <laughs> Finally, there's a 50. Uh, there's going to be a 50 cent piece <laughs> at some 50 point. 50 cent, give me 50 cent. And he'd look down at me like, like give me 50 cent. Hmm. Like with it, and, and I'd be petrified. Sure. I was so scared. That's all he wanted was 50 cents. Just 50 cents. You're cent. like, I got a dollar. He's like, no, 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 no 50. Though, dude. So yeah, 50 cents. Yeah. With inflation, that's it. It was probably 10 bucks. Cent was that lot. was everything. That was lunch. That was, you know, mm. hanging out candy after school. Mm. You know, everything. Cent. All that 50 for, cent was huge. All that for 50 cents. Back in the day. God damn. Be back in the day. But, like, I, so, and I, I don't like the excuse of, Coke of and a Snickers, that whole thing. Yeah. Like, like the, the whole, all right, you, you were brought up in a black neighborhood. It's impoverished. It's this, it's that. You know, well, I don't think it's that simple. I think. Well, I mean, I, I lived in Roxbury for a while in Massachusetts. Yes, another pleasant area. Very nice. And yes. in the Parker Street project, I lived on Parker oh. Street next door to the Parker Street projects. Wow. I, my car was stolen while I was fucking a girl. Like I was literally, <laughs> I was fucking a girl in my apartment, and I heard glass like that sound of car glass breaking, that safety glass, <laughs> like outside the window, and I'm like fucking. Uh, okay, that's. Right outside the window. That's my car. And then I hear the car starting. I'm like, that's my fucking car. <laughs> oh, jeez. And I literally, I run out on the street and watch the car. I'm looking at the taillights of my car. Yeah. And someone else is in it. And I go back and I call 911. Somebody stole my car. I can still hear it going down the Parker Street Hill. 
And the guy goes, you got to come in and fill out a yeah, report. No, and I go, well, no, fucking send somebody here. Right. He goes, no, it. you have to come down to the precinct and fill out paperwork. And it's because I lived on the Parker Street projects, cops would not come they there. Wouldn't come there. They would wouldn't they? come yeah. there. They go. They spent when I grew up in Newton, Massachusetts. There's fucking cops circling our house, <laughs> like the president is yes. having dinner there. Wonderful. Constant police surveillance. Isn't that great? Of rich neighborhoods, no. And and Parker Street, my neighbors were lovely people who lived behind bars. It's like Ross Perot said in one of the debates. These people live in a. They put themselves in prison, in order to protect themselves because cops won't go to these places and the city won't. Won't fucking clean the streets Why because they don't give a shit about those area. people. Yeah, because no, they, it's not so much that they don't give if, a shit about those people. They fuck themselves by going in those neighborhoods. Cops put their lives and their careers. And it's not the specific police. It's what it's what resources are allocated to what places and rich neighborhoods get more resources allocated to them than poor neighborhoods and because that's where the tax base is the tax are. is also paying for that protection if, yes it, it, it's really poor on poor violence and black people have a have a poor look to them because a lot of them are poor and they have been historically so it's it is a cycle i think though i think it's a so cycle. there's nobody that can if you neglect a neighborhood everybody will people. people people rob and kill their neighbors that's what people do <laughs> Yeah. They don't go to other areas. Oh no, no, I realize very rarely it does happen. But yeah. but I'm saying yes. That I, that's why so, I was saying so black if on you, black crime is amazing. I watch when you watch uh, you ever watch First Forty Eight where they got to take the first forty eight hours of a murder and investigate it, and in the end, I love those It shows. is always a, a, on this show. Not only like cops where you know you get to see some white trailers park trash right. beating each other's uh, senseless. Uh, this is all. Black guys killing right. other black guys. Right. The victim's black. The witnesses are black. The the, the but, perp is black. Why do you care about black and black crime, though? I no. I'm saying that that is what put makes this divide. Like I can't. I've been fucking poor. I lived in my car. I I've been I impoverished for many years. I wasn't able to afford food. I dug change out of like couch cushions. I lived at, on friends' Who's couches couch until they. But Your friend's couch and you yeah, yeah. dig the change yeah, out? Yeah, I dig the change out to try to buy, like, <laughs> Hydrox cookies. I couldn't even get Oreos. Wow. Yeah, just to that. So I've been, like, in that situation, but I understand I'm not black. I have lived uh, uh, the whole legacy of that. With, no, no, with, but I don't think it's just that. I just don't think it's that simple. But I have no idea of that lifestyle where mm. life is so fucking worthless and, and, and violence is so prevalent where the just the want for violence like if i got in a fight with somebody and i punched them and they fell down i would not then stomp their head mm. until they're dead or in a coma in the hospital or some shit like that I, I but that seems to be what's going on well let me just make can i just make a distinction though please as far as where this conversation came from yeah Louis Gates Jr. being arrested and getting cranky about it. Oh, right. <laughs> and, the, and that coming from his personal history being a mm -hmm. painful one in America, understandably, yeah. mm -hmm. and rising above it, by the way, and become not. He's not. He didn't respond to it by being a black on black violentor. No, he, he responded to it by elevating himself self, and right. running the greatest black studies, the program, greatest university. Which, which, by the way, is revisionist history a lot Jesus. of times, and it's a an he's the president of Harvard ingrained. Um, at he did least it. He look he trust of white people, if not a genuine dislike of white people. Well, sure. Again, no and what again, the case. again, that fifty cent really. Uh, oh, yeah, that's that really, really did. Yeah. He See, and and by up. the way, this is interesting because then here's this other one, <laughs> is your. Definitely colored, so to speak, <laughs> by colored. the fellow who asked you for 50 cent. That yes. was a fear that was put into you that you'll never forget. And I totally Could and I, res him. I respect and understand that. Yeah, that's going to mean that you're going to see these all these stories differently. When you hear about when you see uh, Barack Obama saying they acted stupidly, it just is a beeline in a, a synopsis firing path in your brain mm -hmm. that goes right to that guy asking you for 50 cent anytime if, 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 and that's gonna that's that's deeply ingrained in you and that's 50 understandable cent was the last time i ever saw when lewis gates bad. jr sees a cop with his hand on on the gun on the butt of the gun saying yeah. uh sir i need you to step away from your own fucking house, <laughs> house. 
he just remembers he remembers whites only fucking signs and all that stuff and it drives him crazy and so that's just everybody brings their own thing to it i think i mean that's I, I I personally think that America is working remarkably well, considering all that. It's considering all the wreckage I, of the history. I it actually works pretty well. There is no the it's, fact that look, the people in fucking Iowa voted for Barack Obama. That means that, you know we're whether or not he ends up being a great president. I think it's, we're do, we're it's we're coming out on top of this shit, but it's complicated. No. It's just a messy the other family. Day, let, let me, no, I, I disagree. My, fa- my father came and stayed with me for, for a week. Well, two, it felt like a week. It was two days. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my dad, I have such a fucked up history with my dad. Um, but I got through it. I got through these two days. I was like, hey, you know what? We, we made can, it. We can do this. Like, he's 72 now. I don't know how long he's got left. I'm not sure, you know, what how he's making it. You know, he's had a tough life. Yeah. And uh, and so I got through the two days. But there were moments during those two days where he just did certain, had said little things that I was, I almost fucking hit him in the face. Oh, I almost, <laughs> Holy I shit. almost had to call 911 and go, hi, listen, I just killed my dad and I need someone to come just over here. Just take care of my kids I, for I, me, please. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know, I like his take on that whole. No, it, but I, it's one, it's one I, but I like it. It's different. And I'm not it's saying different. that there's an, here's the thing. I say it's understandable that certain older black people have an edge on them because yeah. of history. But and then you take it to uh, that it's an excuse for blo- for for violence and murder. Well, but it's not. But I'm not thinking of that. And I, and I do. But but you're and again, it's just really fascinating that that's your perspective because of what's going no, on with no, you in your life. It's not just my perspective on that. It it that's it, kind of simplistic because I gave you one example of, of yeah. something that happened, and then it's the I, only one that matters. But but, but, it, but it isn't <laughs> the because only one. It's the your one first, you right if, if that first was, moment with a black man. If that was the only knowledge I'd had of that. Uh, it would have been a forgotten memory, but it's reinforced constantly by just this this unbelievable, yeah, you know, like when you buy landish uh, uh, unbalance in violent crime. And Although who's perpetrating informed, it. all of it has been informed by the first experience you had. And I'm not saying this is a flaw. This but is how so, everybody. Uh, so is. I'm watching. Uh, a, a black man You're collecting pummeling a, an old white woman and for her money on on a video surveillance camera, yeah. and it's because of fifty cent that you're, I look at that. I should look at him like a gentleman. You no, know, and of then course, what the fuck of am course I, not. What but does fifty cent have to do with you? Started I a collect. That? You started a collection that began with fifty cent. <laughs> but I can't. I'm not collecting. I'm being given this. Right. People are are throwing this at me as I see. From from uh, uh, surveillance videos, you're, you're being news, wait, wait, you're stories. you're being thrown a lot. You're being thrown. By yes. the way, Louis Gates Jr. I think from from what I know, and I was there. <laughs> I'm just going to keep adding to <laughs> the say mess. You were there. I'm just going to keep just adding to the fucking there. mess. I was there. I am Louis Gates Jr. <laughs> I knew it. And when I saw that cop, no, he acted uh, wrongly. No matter what, look, I got pulled over by a cop recently, and I was with my kids. This cop was a dick. Okay. And he was a young man. That's the thing. The, uh, that's the other thing that's like every everything in your life adds to what's happening in your moment. The cop in that in this story was a young man. When you get older and you get pulled over by a 22 year old who likes having a gun, it just bothers you. It just bothers you. The person See, it like, shouldn't. No, it should. It shouldn't. No, it shouldn't. It is it absolutely bother, right. It bothers all of us, though. That's, I, that's when the I got pulled I over by when I got pulled over by this cop recently, I had my kids in the car, and he doesn't. I know he doesn't have kids, and I don't think he, you know. There's certain people where they have a kid radar, like they just have a sense of there's kids here. Yeah, that changes how you act. And some people are like, no, they don't. They and then later they'll have kids and look back and go, oh geez, I uh, you know. She have identification on her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He She's comes three. up to my fucking car. Two cops. I passed a guy. A guy was drifting into the left turn lane. Close to an intersection. You don't have to make it sound good so, for me. Louis. So I assume <laughs> I that he's going to make a left. So I move to the right of him, pass him on the right, and yeah. then he changes his mind and goes into a gas station. Oh shit! On the right. Mm-hmm. So I get pulled over by two state troopers. Like they needed two fucking cars, and they come to each side and they both have their fucking hands. You know, there's the hand on the gun thing is important, but some guys do it. You know, civilly, and some guys. These guys looked fucking hostile, and my kids looked Daytime scared. Daytime or nighttime. Daytime, okay. middle of the day, could, fucking could more, nine in the morning. Could they see you? Yeah, I'm very time? white. I'm driving an Infinity, and it doesn't have <laughs> spinning rims. There's no loud music. 
I, so my, just, I so am, kids are scared. I'm a balding white man. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. And my kids are like, but daddy, you're white. <laughs> so <laughs> the cop comes over and he goes, uh, you, you, you know, you know, you know what you did. And I go, uh, well, I'm not sure, honestly. You passed somebody on the right. And, and and I go, oh, well, I thought he was going ah, 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 like he did. Ah, ah, ah. He had his blinker on. And I go, you know what, sir? I didn't see the blinker, but I, I assume you're probably right. I probably just had exercised some bad judgment. Like, I'm just trying to get to the fucking ticket. Right. Get to the point. What's with that inspection sticker? How come the hole isn't punched? I don't know. What? I didn't. I went to a gas station and got an. Ins- yeah, you're supposed to have the hole punched. I go, I'm was I supposed to punch it? My actual. <laughs> It just he's and, yeah and he, and he goes uh, he reaches in the and rips my he goes this is coming with me and rips my inspection sticker are you off, shitting which me? is putting me now in like I got to drive around without a sticker till I get uh, one that guy's a fucking asshole he's he's yeah. being an asshole right. but I still recognize that my role is respect the law get past the get the paperwork from him yes sir. Get the paperwork. And it looks like you got a headlight Fight out, boy. <laughs> <Fight>. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I guess I shouldn't have had that headlight out, officer. I'm collecting information. I'm getting my paperwork. I'm going to go to court, and I'm going to fight it, and I won't pay for these tickets. Yeah, absolutely. It's, but I'm driving around meanwhile. i got to worry about getting pulled over all the time your... because nobody has inspection stations upstate because the economy is shit. Yeah. And nobody, you go to a gas station, you go, we don't do inspections. Off inspections. Rift it off. What a Didn't prick. wait for me to explain anything to him no. or whatever. Just fucking. Well, that's, that's just a cock. But still, it, my role is to act respectful to police. And I'm sure yeah. that. So I think that Louis Gates acted. It's wrong to just start yelling. You don't, just don't get to do that. Even if you yeah. are in your own house, even if you're being arrested for doing nothing, even if you're being totally. No, he was right. It's not fair. <laughs> but no, no, but. <laughs> Uh, but I understand it. That's all. I understand. I I, I empathize with. He was being with extremely the belligerent to an officer who was, um, from what they say, and from certain radio transmissions, <laughs> yeah, that was being uh, as polite as possible to this gentleman answering a call to a burglary in progress. He gets there, uh, and then he's accused of being a racist, and then uh, the professor starts talking about his mama. And shit like that. Yeah, but here's the other thing, too, though. It's like there's so many parts of this that are, like, part of the... This is such a... I I think these kinds of things are always good. I think this is a positive thing because it's a conversation the whole country has. And talking about this kind of thing is pure positive. See, this is what I was going to say. I think it's all good. I was going to say this before. I don't think it is because I think it shows just how close to the surface all this shit is bubbling of course and how it is. it's just this fine veneer of yeah but talking is, is better than, than, but it can't hurt to talk about talking it. is better than bubbling and i think that it's important for people to know what it's like to be a guy like lewis gates and what it's like to be like this cop and and go into the morass of racism every time you answer any kind of a call mm. must be very frustrating but i always also think about americans fucking entitled rich white gun owning americans who just hey. this castle Fucking house is your castle. Yes, well, you're explaining. Yeah, yes. you are completely. Anthony. Yes, describing your house life. is your castle. That's right. Anyone walks in, and steps on the lawn, you can Ka-blam. shoot them in the fucking mouth. Exactly. Ka-blam-o. So in that context, a guy coming into your house and saying anything untoward, you're like, "Fuck you, you fucking racist, fucking faggot cop." Get you fuck your mother in the ass, you little faggot racist. Get off my fucking property. I'm the president of Harvard, you fucking little Irish Bo- South Boston prick. F- go shove it in your mother's cunt. I don't care if you fucking brought that a basketball player back to life. Fuck eh. you. I don't. I'm fucking Louis Gate. I'm calling Brock right now. He's on my fucking speed dial, you motherfucker. I get it. I get that. Yeah. I think if you were black, that's what you would say to a cop if he came on your property, or you'd just shoot him. No, I would uh, I would be uh, very cordial. Mm. I would be the um, pull myself up by my bootstraps kind of a guy. And, uh, <laughs> that's and, what. And but succeed. that's what he was. He's like I pulled myself up by my bootstraps, and I still nah, I, I still get more. fucking arrested for for having a jammed door. It's from Louis Gates' <laughs> junior's point of view. It's a complete outrage. I get it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what's, what's up? Whoa, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm being, ch- I'm being chastised. I don't know who it is. Uh, who's that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm being chastised. <laughs> Wait, is that Snoop? That's Snoop. <laughs> I don't know. It's a wire. 
What's up? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it on. is. Snoop, what's up? <laughs> I know Snoop. <laughs> yeah, from the wire. From man. the wire. <laughs> is that kid in the wire, really? It's, it might be a girl. Yeah. Man, big bang, man. Snoop. How's it going, man? Louis C.K. How are you? What's up? Holy How's it going? I don't know your real name. I know, Snoop, I know you're Snoop. 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 How you Sit down. <laughs> and it was shit. scared. You were. Le- I thought you were like, doing gang up? signs or something. <laughs> <laughs> you got all scared. What's up? Oh, yeah, put, Can you yeah. hear us? Because we're having a race conversation. So yeah, it's just yeah, funny that we walked over there. We were talking about the Barack fucking pop, Gates, professor, Louis Gates Jr. Uh, I was trying to describe to him what Louis Gates Jr. felt like. It and of course, like. Louis is the guy to describe. Uh, look me at me, I know. What, uh, what an <laughs> I know. I've been through it. Like when the cops come to his house. I've walked the Louis Gates Jr. walk. <laughs> I know just what it's like. No, no, no. Wow. Your hair looks good, by the way. Thanks, yeah. buddy. I say thanks. that because in the wire, how's my hair look? Yeah. <laughs> Played one of the the greatest characters ever on the wire, yeah, Snoop. Man. Holy yeah. shit! You were yeah. a, you were a scary motherfucker on that show. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! It Jimmy's was gonna... TV. It was I the scripts, man. I had to do what I was paid for, man. Mm-hmm. You know. Jimmy's gonna be so bummed he's not Jimmy's here tonight. Jimmy's gonna be Jimmy so pissed. Good. It's like his What's favorite up, show, Jimmy? right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, damn, Jimmy's filming doing, a movie man? in Boston, but um, he'll be back tomorrow. What? Music. I just had an interview over there. Music, television, reality show. Ray come up. You know, Which one? What are you doing? Um, just trying to help kids get on the right track. You know, just like T.I. Road to Redemption. You know, I'm gonna switch it up in my own flavor. So going all over the world, just helping kids. You know, wow. out the ghetto. Go ahead. What's your? What, where good. you from, man? What's that accent? Huh? Where are you from? Baltimore. Wow, man. Yeah. It's different than Sal. <laughs> yeah. My yeah, yeah. stepfather's accent. No, Baltimore is the like South. This. Baltimore is the <laughs> South. Like it's, Rail, it's the start Rail. of the South. Yeah, yeah. it's just where it <laughs> starts. Much, yeah. South sure don't sound like that. No. no. And you, you were discovered on the streets, right? Yeah, I'm um, in a nightclub. Um, Michael K. Williams played a character, Omar. Sure. And yeah. Omar. He told me come on through. I came on through. Hey, I am. <laughs> Make a long story short. Just you know? like that. Mm. His yeah. whole life changed because yeah. Omar was in the same place. Yeah, that was God, though, man. Sure enough. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. I was on the road to. Woo! <laughs> the road to Woo! <laughs> woo is just woo. south of uh, Baltimore, it's I think. It's a road to Woo. <laughs> yeah, you were, uh, you were uh, in the game and shit. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was my past life, you know, selling drugs, trying to make a life for myself, you know, and just put money in my pocket. You know, I tried to do the right thing. You know, I was incarcerated. Tried to do the right thing when How I many came years? home. Mm. Six and a half years. Holy so you went to jail and you tried to change when you came home, yeah, you're saying? Yeah, and, and, and they just, just downplayed me, man. You know mm. what I mean? It, it was just crazy. It just fired me. Every three, I mean, all three they, what jobs, did you? they fired me. Oh, fired you. Yeah. Okay. I had three jobs. They fired me. I said, man, fuck this, man. I'm <laughs> going on the block. I'm going to get it in, man. And you went Shit. back to crime? Hustling. Yeah. Mm. God. How old were you then? Yeah, man. How old were you then? What, when I came home? Yeah, when you came home, how old were you? 21. And then you had three jobs. Yeah. Went back, and it's how long were those three jobs? Ford and all, like making Ford bumpers, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Making $16 an hour. Yeah, I was yeah. just coming home. I was living a life. What did they fire you for? Because of my background, my criminal background, mm-hmm. you know? Oh, they found out or some shit? Yeah, but I said it on my job, um, on my application. Like, I mean, you know how they got the yeah, question, yeah, have you supposed- ever been incarcerated? Mm-hmm. I put yes, explain, in an in interview, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And they still hired me, but two weeks later, they fired me. I say, damn, at least I got one paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> what were the other, you worked for Ford, what were the other two jobs? Um, what, the um, book company and um, stacking boxes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God damn, man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. When did you get the tats in, in prison? No, no, I waited till I came home. I wasn't trying to catch good. nothing. Yeah. In, in they the look joint. too good to be uh, prison tats. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, good, good thing you steered clear of those Rusty things. Rusty needle and <laughs> Jesus Christ, ink, those, yeah. things, those things always look like shit. <laughs> 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 Who is that? Who's Arnold? That's my uncle, man. Your uncle? Yeah, he passed away while I was locked up. Mm-hmm. You know? That was like, you know, when you think, well, you don't know. Y'all don't know. No. When you're incarcerated, you know, all your friends and, like, half of your family just, you know, disappear on you. And mm-hmm. it's the man that... He stayed with you? Yeah, exactly. You know, visits, phone calls, money, mm-hmm. orders, all mm-hmm. that, you know. So he with me to my dying day, you know. 
Yeah, Possible. must have meant a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, gonna yeah, get a tad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's a guy I kind of knew once. <laughs> yeah. I got a tattoo of a guy he gave me. Talk know. about that in Grace After Midnight. I got mm-hmm. a book out called Grace After Midnight. It's in Barnes and Nobles, Amazon dot com. It's in reprint right now. You know what I mean? Right now. And I'm writing my second one. And you some know. kid is stacking that book in a box somewhere <laughs> <laughs> in Baltimore, <laughs> where he used to work. God damn, we don't even have any time left right yeah, now. Just we ran out back, of time. Man, I just so ran out of time. We'd love to have you back. Hello, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Snoop, Jim Bolt, man. Out, man. you got to come back when Jimmy's here. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy will shit his pants. Oh, my God. <laughs> he will. Loves the wire. Loves Snoop. Put him all black and run, it, run down on him, man. <laughs> all right. I'll see you all later, man. Thanks for having me. Thanks, right, Snoop. Okay, man. Very cool. It's Jimmy's. I guess. Oh, oh, man. I signed this yesterday for Jim, man. Oh, you already yeah. signed one for Jimmy? Yeah. No, I'm signing it again for Jimmy. Yeah, you there. never know. Because I with did Jimmy. K. Slay last night. Jimmy be like, I'll take two. <laughs> Winking, blinking. <laughs> what a psychopath he is. <laughs> uh, that's cool, man. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, you, you were, well, you got scared because <laughs> like, uh, she was fuck? giving you all sorts of signs outside no, the window. Like, man, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> See you later. All right, nice nice <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> There's a good show, you guys, today. Yeah, Louis, um, you fucking I love listening to Louis shit going on. CK. He's oh. got a way of looking at oh, things. Yeah. Uh, did, did I say he? Who said he? Who said all he? of us no, said he? Was I? Was I the only one? I know it's not a he. I said demand and dude. But I didn't mean like man or dude. That's a man. Oh, no, I wasn't gonna say she. miss. I I knew that no, too, that was, but I think I might have slipped too. That's a that's a girl. Okay, she was, <laughs> she was nice. She was a nice girl. Yeah, I think she was, she was a nice guy. Officially, nice girl. Who yeah. said who said he instead of she? I think I you got did. one out. Huh? Louis did, did too. What did I say? <laughs> To him? Yeah. To, <laughs> <laughs> to that? <laughs> God damn. No, uh, I was just saying. That, dude. Wait, but how did you I say he? dude? <laughs> Louis said he. What but how did, wait, I was what, right there, too. Oh. Yeah, you said he. Too. That's why at the end I said, well, sh- she was giving dang signs oh, to Anthony. Shit. Holy shit. <laughs> we are assholes. That, wait, so she got out of jail at 21? 21 went, went, got, had three wait, wait, jobs. Wait, wait, but before that, she was in for six and a half years, so she went in at 14? Young, 14 yeah, and a yeah. half? Young. Damn. What'd she do? Well, uh, from what I was told, she, she was convicted of attempted murder. Oh, <laughs> ah, shit. Just for, at 14. It's just attempted. I can't believe Anthony called her a him. I did not. <laughs> I was just saying, yeah, man. All right, yeah, dude. dude. Wow. I called girls, dude. Yeah, just yeah. like that intern when she was leaving, right? I'll no. Later, dude. <laughs> no. Yeah. Later, okay. Man. I didn't. You're right, Danny. <laughs> Strange. Uh, yeah, that was uh, that was funny timing. The whole that whole it was certainly just very was interesting. after the yeah. whole conversation. Let's we meet had. a black on a black violent. <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet one now. <laughs> Let's meet one of now. questionable yeah. sexuality. So, you ever ask anybody for fifty, 50 cents, 50 cents? In, a, in a not so nice way? <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably, Boy, probably, probably did. Will. Attempt to murder. In that. Interesting. Attempt to murder. Attempt right. Murder. No, this Louis. is why. This is right why. Uh, like uh, Vietnam vets that were in prison meet their. They're torturers, and everybody cries. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for why tor- I didn't know you had a. Oh, oh now nice. I can yeah. see. Your mom wasn't nice to you. Three well, it's jobs fine then. And you were fired. You tried to go straight, and that's why you're slinging on yeah. rock back on the street again. Yeah. And then her right. manager at Ford would be like, "That's not what fucking happened." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck her. Let me tell you. I gave her a shot. Why do you think I hired her? The we fuck? fucking, we never lost so many bumpers in a week <laughs> in my life. <laughs> fucking bumper, bumpers over each shoulder. Yeah, God knows. Fuck. You want to buy a bumper? Yeah. I'll sell you a bumper. She'll come back. Yeah. You didn't see the wire, really. You... No, I'm not I up never to that saw point. It. Oh, my God. Not up to that point. Fucking intimate. She, Wow. Barely acting though, because they got it right off the streets of Baltimore. Yeah. Every, you know, that's the thing. It's like every time when you boil. The crazy fucked up America down to the individual. It just changes how you look at it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Every person has their different weird story. It's just never, yeah, it it's really never is. simple. Like when we did the, the virus tour, remember when Carlos was on the show? We had Carlos on and there was all this anticipation of Carlos being on the show because of Carlos being, you know, the fucking notorious thief and 
Rogan and all that shit. That oh, right. Happened. Yeah, yeah. Right. And so Carlos was coming on the tour, and I remember on the, I was looking on the whack bag on your 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 the group, message group board, and yeah. they're all saying let's all. There was all these planned protests, like let's not. Can we? They were actually somebody was trying to see if they could organize just every, the entire stadium just walking out <laughs> silently. Let me organize an entire <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. stadium. <laughs> and so, but so what was going to happen? So and oh, and, God and your him for your trying. God bless them for trying. Though. Yeah, exactly. And then the somebody has a picture, and I think. I think it was Lindsay, your, uh, your, your at the time fiance. I don't know if you guys are you're married now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So she had this picture of all the comedians at the curtain, like little boys at Christmas trying to peek. <laughs> Every comedian I'm trying to look through the curtain while, while Carlos is on stage. Oh wow, that's <laughs> yeah, it's a great, and, it's a great shot. Yeah, shot. and Carlos, something. nobody knew what was going to happen, and he went on. The first show was Detroit. I remember all this very clearly. And he went Detroit went on to a rain of a, a, sh- a light shower of booze. And he just fucking murdered, yeah, yeah. killed, I not mean, only I... stamped out the booze, but did then another 40 minutes and, killed, and yeah. just destroyed. Same thing in New Jersey. But he fucking destroyed. But so Carlos and I flew together to L.A. after the show, and we just happened to sit right next to each other. And I don't know Carlos that well, but I know him. And uh, so I direct, asked him very directly about all that shit, about all the stealing and stuff. And he and I talked for a whole flight about it. And it, you know, I now have a very complicated view. I'm not sure what the fuck happened, and it's very. It's not that he like weaseled his way. It's just that his view of it is complicated. It's mm-hmm. a na- he has a narrative. He has a story about what happened with all that stealing stuff and with Rogan and with Cosby and with everybody. I like just and it's not just knowing. really interesting. I like not knowing and the it's com- individual story. It's stories. filthy and it's complicated and it's not so easy to point. If you just listen to a person, I look at the big picture. Yeah, you can't point at a person and go, "You're that. just a fucking dirty thief." <laughs> fucking Joe Rogan's awesome. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck Dane Cook. You're all blah blah blah. He- it's just too easy you if you meet a person talk for five minutes you go oh geez i can't really say this i gotta anymore. i gotta I'm accent sure that story thing. too because he was feeling that energy that the crowd was giving him and everyone going oh my god carl's is on this tour and we just went like you said went yeah. the rogan thing and all that when he finished that set it was a relief of energy yes he threw that I, I i think he does do the microphone throwing it down thing. yeah he does the thing where he jacks off the mic and spits over the top right, so it right. looks like it's coming and then he throws it on the but, floor and it was beautiful but it was it, there was a little it's more like a symphony there was a little more to it than <laughs> oh yeah right. he really like said well there you go mother yeah exactly and as a comedian i was so impressed we all were yeah. that he overcame that and just by being fucking good and uh, and on the flight home i said that what was that like that was ballsy, and he goes, mm-hmm. "I was terrified." <laughs> and to that learn to find out adrenaline. that he was really scared, it wasn't because he was like, "Fuck everybody." He was like, "This is the only way through this because I might get booed and, it, and it's gonna suck." And he was two, scared. There's two people in the back going, "Come on, our silent pro, let's all leave." <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> we promised we were gonna. <laughs> there's a stranger outside the uh, the studio. Another one. Kind of looks like Ron from Ron and Fez. Oh, really? Sure. really? Is oh, Ronnie out there? Holy shit, look at the time. Ronnie, are you uh, out there? I, I got to the apologize. Yeah, we're running into Ronnie go. first time. We better get oh, out of yeah. here. Sorry I was there, hoping uh, he would Mr. come in Bennington. and say hi, but he, uh, he ran off. Look at that. One. All right, Louis C.K. is going to be at Caroline's. Uh, the shows are sold out, though. No crossover. Maybe yeah, Sunday I think tickets. Sunday, there might be tickets. Right. Don't know. Two shows Sunday. And what else are you Ooh. promoting? I'm I'm coming to Canada for a huge Canada tour. You guys, every time I play Canada, somebody comes up to me about this show. So I should say, Dude. I'm playing like fucking Halifax. A lot of those are sold out now. But I'm playing Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton, all these cities in, in I, September and October. I'm playing heavy Canada. I want to jump on a plane and see Louis C.K. in Canada. Canada is an awesome place rule. to do stand-up. Maybe, maybe so. Vancouver. Yeah, in Toronto. I'm doing two shows in Toronto. We added a show because it got sold out Nice in October. I don't know the dates, though. I don't know nothing. Okay. A lot of activity outside the studio. We better get out of here. All right. Louis, it was a pleasure, man. Oh, there he is. Thank you. Ronnie. Sorry, Ronnie. Oh, Ronnie. Sorry, Sorry Ron. We kind of. Louis fucking CK <laughs> is here. Oh, Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie B starts late. Oh, Ronnie. Sorry. I would love, though, to come in at like six and someone else is doing a show and you're just like, ah, fuck it. Yeah, just I sit around you guys for a while. Keep on going. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was really just planning on starting the show with a nap anyway. <laughs> That's fucking plenty. Hey, uh, I don't know if you guys want to hang around today, but uh, I think hey. Skinner Boys. Skinner Boys are going to be rocking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. For real? And I'm ho- yeah, wow. down Ooh. for an uh, artist confidential. Yeah. Real hopes they do Freebird. 
I don't know wow. whether they're going to do it or not. I, uh, this might buzz. be the one show they did. We're not really sure yeah, what's going to happen. Because every show you're there, you're like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're going to do it or not. You really have to shout it out oh. for them to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to free your free bird. You got to get your lighters up. Wow, did that sound gay? <laughs> Does that sound, yeah, sound a little gay? What? The way he said that? Just a little bit. Yeah. I usually now only see Fez walking past the garage now. It's a quick little high by the garage. I, I miss you guys. Here's what you don't understand. Before the show, because Fez hates radio so much, <laughs> he has to keep walking around the fucking Are block. You mm-hmm. I take a lap. I take a relaxation no. lap. And I know the bad days because he goes around and around and around. <laughs> and you just see him mumbling himself like, I know I belong in this business. <laughs> I know I do. I know I can do this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was at, just just last night, people were complaining, like, what happens? How come you guys don't, uh, do, you're not on the Ron and Fez show anymore? So I go, it's the logistics of the, this fucking building. I uh, talked to Ope about this. I think we ought to do a live show mm-hmm. in the fall. Yeah. A little Afro show. A little Afro I, show. I would have no problem with that, my friend. In the same way that we did the uh, uh, Dave's wedding. Yeah. Yes. You guys plan nothing because you're fucking lazy and exactly. sloppy. And we just watch you guys <laughs> yeah. and watch hone all the it. planning. <laughs> you hone it to a fine do. sheen, <laughs> right. and everything comes off without a hitch. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's amazing. We just come and freeload. Oh, boy, do we. <laughs> well, Louis going, I can't believe I'm still here. I can't believe I'm still here. <laughs> after 11. I'm Emmy nominated. I'm Emmy nominated. Uh, Emmy <laughs> nominated. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're gonna lose him soon. We know. We know how. Oh, it's I gonna think it's gonna guy. be yeah, the. I, I think it's gonna. By the way, be the other Emmys, the creative arts ones, which means it won't be on television. I'm oh, being, oh, it's before. on the cusp. Yeah, they might not. Oh, I'm gonna oh, get it. Like, it'll, it'll be presented to me by like Jamie Farr. And <laughs> <laughs> it'll just be fucking in he's front of some people. And a ceremony earlier this week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how that happens. All right, let's get out of here so these guys. Yeah, let them do their show. Are oh, you guys staying? Is I that what you said? I listen to the whole thing on the way home, which is good. Dude, we, yeah, we avoid that side of the news until you guys come on. We avoid that side of the floor. We we sneak out this way, and, uh, yeah. and we're we're out. Out. It is. It's uh, no meetings for us. It's like Mission Impossible. We drop down on cables <laughs> through the elevator. Look at Louie making believe he's got a fake phone call. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Hollywood. Yes, Louie <laughs> just grabbed yes. his phone and ran out like like Hollywood's calling. A free he, picture <laughs> deal. He wants for out. LCK. <laughs> just to think, a year ago I was a soda jerk, <laughs> <laughs> and now look at me, the <laughs> Mad Cat Manhattan Weekend. <laughs> He thinks we haven't seen that move before. I the know, big I phone know. call We're gonna... gets me out of the room immediately. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, uh, My grandmother. <laughs> right. I'll be right there, guys. I gotta go. Yeah, we're not gonna... oh, she fell and <laughs> fell and, uh, and got cancer or something. <laughs> it's awful. And you can't be the guy that questions it. Right. Oh. Hold right. on, the reception's better on the other side of this door. <laughs> yeah, what? hold on. Uh, during our meetings, I always tell Fez when I cough. Wait 30 seconds and start crying. <laughs> and we get, seriously, we've had two bladder meetings, and Watley's cried during both of them. Perfect. You yeah. have to cuddle you? We Does get, bladder try to no. hold your head? No. 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 He's not the touchy, not. he's not wicky. No. no, he's not the touchy feeling type of guy. Wicky would be like, Fizz! <laughs> yeah, that side of the building is a little uh, more serious. Uh, yeah, literally. I wanna, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's serious, literally. Oh, yeah. It's just no XM. I don't even try to say serious XM anymore. We, like, uh, yeah, I work for serious. You see one XM on the badges or anything that you got? No, no nothing. No, 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 no. It's getting smaller. Yeah. You can see it. It's it's getting smaller. They're finally purging. How's the fake phone call? Well, it was good. It was a- <laughs> going to the Mets game. I just fuck. Uh-huh. Uh, I still haven't been to like, City Field. We thought we Pitching? thought it was Jack Warner. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Warner. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here yeah. so Ron and Fez could do their uh, program. What's on the show today, there, Ronnie? Uh, a, lot, a lot of great stuff. Of, uh, <laughs> yeah. stuff uh, thinking about. Oh, hang on. We have a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> you're like us. You get the. We'll you're like us. You get the sheet and go. Oh, this is what we're talking about <laughs> yeah. today. All right. Dave's ideas. <laughs> More. Dave's ideas. I get a bit. Don't you hate it when you're eating shit and you accidentally come? I think everyone does that, Dave. It doesn't work that way. Holy shit. The disgusting 1%. Yeah, 
Yes. Save that for the Sam and Dave show. <laughs> yeah. When you guys argue over what uh, toy you're playing with. <laughs> <laughs> we officially fired Sam, though. It's he's, over. Fun, uh, he's fucking useless. He really there is. There was a hot girl that came walking by the window. Yeah. We, we immediately hired her and fired Sam. Mm. Yeah. We had to make room for I thought for that him. was Sam. No. Yeah. Oh, she, she, you normally get confused for hot girl. Well, will she be wearing Mouseketeer ears, too? Or <laughs> <such> as... <laughs> yeah, you could divvy those up and really have some good Mouseketeer ears. Why don't you guys fucking end the, every show with M-I-C. <laughs> See you real soon, kids. <laughs> See you, cunt. <laughs> uh, Ronnie's on to something uh, well. with a mouseketeer. Mm. It's, it's very close it's now. One. Yeah, it's no. not two. Uh, oh, that makes it straight. Don't act yeah. like that doesn't look stupid. <laughs> don't act like, don't be outraged. I mean, go ahead and walk around like that, but don't be like, what? <laughs> may, may, crazy. That's the craziest. Maybe it would look good if yeah. you were on a Harley yeah. going 90 miles an yeah. hour. Yeah, it makes no sense. <laughs> what? <laughs> it is really dumb. I mean, you know what it. You have uh -oh. to know it, right? No. You're being ironic with that, right? Yeah, yeah. Sam's gonna defend himself. That's not yeah. how a person Sam, walks around. I'm just saying it's not a musketeer necessarily. Oh Jesus! And you should like see. It matters what's stupid about it. <laughs> you should see how cute. Like it matters what specifically is <laughs> shitty about that haircut. Punch up a picture of his girl. You see how cute I mean, it looks retarded, that. not assholeish. And he's got a cute girlfriend and everything. It's a character look. No, it's like there's comedians that cut their hair a certain way, and then that's their opening oh, line, right, right. and they keep. Keep cutting. They go. Oh, look at me. Well, you cut it like that. Go fucking brush it out and get a, a, a fucking axe. Fucking hack. Oh, look at it. Look at her. Okay. That's his girlfriend. Well, Seriously? God, that that noise. <clears throat> because well, he got, he got stupid fucking bubble head. <laughs> You That's guys your asked girlfriend. Me to grow yeah. my hair yeah, out. She's we mine told starting you know, tomorrow. Soulful eyes. <laughs> some some girls like lips. to be with guys that won't fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so weird. She's got a weird quirk. That's <laughs> the case in this right. situation. Yeah, you should no. defend yourself on that a little no. bit. You know. She sees a guy with hair like that and goes, "He won't have the balls to rape me." <laughs> Well, she wants him to cut it. He'll right? buy me things and never have to fuck him. That's not what's no, going on she at wants all. You to cut I know the it's hair, so unfair. Right? I'm just yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. She what, preferred it much what shorter. Woman, what woman? I would think go, America no, prefers it much shorter. <laughs> this is yeah. from Afro Wars, which ended a year and a half ago. Yep. Dave never admitted defeat. Dave's had two kids since that. Well, he's insane. He's, <laughs> he's clinically insane. Yeah, right. Well, that's true. So, Danny's got stupid hair too. What? What? <laughs> Ronnie, no, Danny doesn't Why have stupid hair. Why is it so hair. hard to talk Danny looks like Dave. a... Danny has a hat. Uh, is everyone talking? <laughs> what what happened? Well, I try to have a little like uh, a little small talk with Dave, yeah. you know, between the two shows, he, and he panics and runs yeah. away. What's yeah. that about? He doesn't like you. Right. Wow. At, least got, I, at least I know that. He's got an opie thing. He, calls it. <laughs> he puts candy in his asshole and then eats it. So when a guy does puts candy in his asshole and then eats it, when you see him in the hallway, you don't go, "I wonder what." Oh, right? Yeah, does he have a problem with me? Figured, Why is he so yeah. non-social? I yeah, figured I would try it? to get to know him finally. God, what did I do we to upset him, that we fucking filthy so weirdo? Years, I figured, you know what? Let's let's uh, get to know each other. Yeah. Sure. Holy shit! He runs away. No, no. And Sam's going to kill himself for the show soon, which is awesome. I'm not. I've been asked to kill myself. He just hasn't figured out which way He's yet. Still with Sam. I'm not going to. That's a big thing for oh, the hi, show. Dave. Oh, God. Yes, Dave. Oh, oh, hi, get Dave. out. Just because you heard your name. Dave. Oh, hi, Dave. What's the problem, <laughs> man? <laughs> I love you. That's All why right, it's hard for Dave. me to talk to you. Uncomfortable right, guy this, stuff. Yeah, see. All right, I'm leaving now. Oh, Brad. Fuck up, Brad. you did. Come on. We're on, we're on good terms uh, now. You don't want to be part of the overacting shit? That's so bad. Mr. Todd. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, Louis We're is turning all... bright red. You I'm your Louis biggest fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the room East Side Dave. Just leaving. You know well, I gotta go to the Mets game, guys. All right, all right. All right. see you later. Right. He's not even faking a Bye. phone call. Bye. No, he's Way just to leaving. Go. Way to go. He's leaving. What are we doing here? Now, fucking Opie's leaving. Oh, great. Now, Opie's going. Now, Opie's going. Where are you going, Opie? No. Come on. Oh, no. Is there any beer? Oh, no. Opie, don't go. Yeah, I gotta go. Oh, Jesus. Now, Anthony, go. Oh, I'm sorry. He just what unclipped his baby it's laptop. Oh, oh, no. Anthony, come back here. Oh, oh, no. Forget oh, come it. Come back here. You know what? Well, Fuck but, this. I'm not on, no, Roddy. Fuck this. Come on, Rod. You stay. ruined everything. Stay. He's Afro. It's great. It's the best. Fuck. Fuck this. All right. No, oh, I no, hate no, this Mr. all Fez. now. I can't stay here. I hate all this Fez. now. No, no. It all turned Fez. awful. Horrible. Oh. 
I what? don't even do, Dave. Looks like it's finally special delivery. Afternoons. You've said everyone, Dave. I'm leaving. Actually, I, I got to do the replay, too. All right, guys. I guess I'll be here by myself. Uh, well, I have never had such a large audience before. All right, well, I guess everyone's gone, so I don't know if we're going to hit buttons or I'm going to keep talking, but I... All right, all right, well, I think... Oh, stretch it out? Oh, boy. All right, well, 202 audience and, and, and Sirius and 197, we have lots of co stuff coming up on the Ron Fez show. I think I think we should hit the buttons and begin the Ron Fez show is what I think we should do. That's just a personal radio standpoint. I think we should... No, I'm not going to stretch. I'm leaving, too, now. Goodbye!